We're live. Welcome back to you know another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast. My Decibels name. are at an increasingly steady rate. John is figuring out all of technology. You just heard the word decibel. And he's, <laughs> no, I'm he's just, just using it now. You got to know what it means. You know what I'm saying? The decibels that are increasingly stable state right now. So podcast should be smooth. Yep. So the decibels are in a good spot. John, producer yep. John just said that, man. It's producer John in the back, man. I know what I'm so, talking about. Yep. Uh, today I'm joined with my co host, Lo. Yo, the podcast people listen one and only legend of winning, aka Lo. We back with another podcast, man. Yeah. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? I'm Agent Zero. Hey, peer to peer on YouTube. Videos available at peer to peer on YouTube. Put on notifications if you haven't already. Make sure you go. Know the gang, 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 gang. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks for showing love. Apple Podcasts. People drop us a five star with the Air Force Ones. Leave a comment saying Air Force mm. Ones. Trying to get to 4,000 five stars. Y'all been showing love. Top three gaming podcasts oh, in North America oh, cool. right now. Why are you going so specific? We just I don't top, know. We just top three gaming, period. Oh, okay. 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 Period. Okay. I don't know if period. we still are. We could be two or five. I haven't checked in five we, months. I feel like we still top 10 in bare, yeah, most likely. bare, bare minimum. Most likely. Hey, we're just going to we're, we're gonna get a plaque that says top three gaming. <laughs> Just in between the, the months of April and <laughs> April and June, that's where we're at. Yeah, man. You know what um, I'm saying? So uh, we got to get it. Well, you were in the Nintendo 64 shirt, so we got the gaming topic okay. in, of uh, course. I, 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 huh? Hey, why are you making that noise? <laughs> he said, "I, I, I, John, I, I, thought, get, like, you no, wanna, I thought you was gonna like swing it." Like, I guess I could have introduced you, but you were talking about decibels, so we kind of introduced you already. And you're like, I, 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 oh yeah, I knew it was just, it was just, a, it was just a, 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 was just a little skit. All right, well, the pod, in the know? back, that was a skit. That was a little skit to start the podcast. John, you, know you what genuinely saying? just learned what decibels are. That wasn't a skit. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a skit. Okay, nah, that you know what was. All right, so we right, got producer John in the back. That was your real life, nigga. No, it wasn't. I, I live and die by them decibels, <laughs> Marcel. <laughs> nigga been no, dying lately. Live and die man, by them been, decibels. You've you been dying lately, yeah, nigga. Yeah. John yeah. figured out how to produce this nah. shit hilarious behind so, the scenes. Yeah, by the way, a lot of stuff to go back. You see the keyboard. You got water. Nigga, that's a regular keyboard. Hey, 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 hey. This is not regular. Hey, back regular. This is a keyboard. I got a mouse. It's a whole lot back here that I do. Show me your mouse pad. Yeah. <laughs> see, it's a it's a hack. It's a it's a hack. It's a hack. You put it on the top. It's like literally it's a, hat. a tissue. So, nope. It's an eyeglass cleaner, but I'm being innovative. We my dead ass got to get it. Oh, is that where my lens cleaner was? Yeah, <laughs> nigga, you knew where it been at. You gave it to me. You gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> God, I was looking for it, bro. I swear to God. You were looking for it. Have you computer. seen my solution to clean my lens? Huh? You seen a solution? Really? It's, it's just probably a, it's just uh, this is a whole bunch of chorus and stuff back here. You know, if I start right, looking, I look you know, I look for it. We gotta yeah. get peer to peer merchandise. We gotta get you a peer to peer mouse pad and peer to peer uh, chair. Peer to peer chair. Yep. Get some playback hats. You we know. can get him a peer to peer chair. We'll take one of them chairs that we got in the other room, mm -hmm. like those foldable chairs, and we'll put a sticker on that bitch. The one with no that's cushions. Not, that's not. That's not it. That's not it. The one with as little cushion as possible. That actually is it. That's, that's literally it. what it is. Actually, that's, that's what, what it's, it's gonna be. Would y'all cop that? <laughs> I hey, think people. I think hey, people pop hey, cop the um, Marcel, playback hat. There's smoke. Huh? Oh, there's smoke. Marcel, <laughs> what, what you trying to do? <laughs> huh? What do I mean? Oh man, he hasn't been online in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> He's hood illiterate, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what smoke mean, don't you? I know no, what smoke mean, but I don't know what that meme, meme is. There's the meme of the kid who is like, um, so what you trying to do? What that Kai's no, been doing. Hey, hey, Tay this ain't no meme. Okay, John, you're not gonna ask. You talking about trade rags? No, I'm talking about John. Me. Oh, okay. This ain't no. This ain't no meme. It's real life, Marcel. Get the so brass he has, so he, has, he has a new meme called. Is that smoke? Is it smoke? That's what it is. It's no, that's what just that's what just John said. But this that's usually a volley to be like. So what you trying to do? Usually, that's what the follow up. Oh, is. it wasn't. A, it wasn't a volley. All right, John. There's no volley. It was in this a threat, <laughs> <laughs> Marcel. Yo, people <laughs> interpreting. Regular conversation as threats is hilarious to me. Yeah, people interpreting regular conversations as just regular questions as something problematic is also weird. Yeah. Like, I just ask a regular question, like, yo, what you trying to say? And I'm like, I just, I'm just asking a question. That's is that it. a threat? What? No, just asking. I'm just asking a question. That's oh, it. Yeah. Voice when you come to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I have a regular tone voice. It'll be like, yo, well, what are you, what are you saying? I'm like, just asking a question, dog. Nigga, who told you to ask questions? Me. 
I just, I just want to know why. Hey, why does then niggas start getting other people involved? Why does little nigga want to yeah, know yeah. so much? And you know, I, I, ain't gonna lie, I, I hate when I'm the nigga like, bro. I don't, I don't know why you get me involved. I'm just sitting here, just trying to figure out what's yeah, going on. Why this little nigga gotta know so much today? <laughs> Try to beat it out of him, right, guys? And I'm like, no, nope, no. Nope. And the whole oh, game. he want to answer for me now. <laughs> yeah, he bro. says no. All right, wow. What you just said just flashed back to a weird dream I had last night. That made no sense. I was in Cumberland, but like Cumberland in my dream was the hills. Like it had great views. It was a bougie area. Yeah, we know that's not Cumberland. That's not Cumberland. <laughs> <laughs> we know that's not Cumberland. Bro, and so um, I was pulling up to my friend's house, which was an NBA player. And you and he had to drop but the it reason I had to pull up there though was because my car broke down while I was driving up the big hill to get through Cumberland. I was driving through okay. Cumberland, so so I put up to his crib, but he wasn't there though. Uh-huh. And I remember just being chased out of that building and trying to find my car, and then I realized my car still didn't work. And then I woke up because I thought I was gonna die. It was a frightening dream, and none of which made sense. What and, does it have to do with anything we just said, bro? I don't know what you just said. Just triggered. Yeah, I don't know why, no, bro. No, no, <laughs> yo, I went eight years, nine years straight, guys, not remembering a single dream. In the past month, I've remembered basically all my dreams. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> you unlocked your mind, my boy. <laughs> 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 it sound like, it sound like your third eye been open. That's what it sound like. That's a cheat code right there. <laughs> he no Morpheus. <laughs> this <laughs> nigga got so excited. He's like, yo, nigga, I'm remembering dreams. I'm remembering, now. I'm remembering nigga, dreams. You're elevating, past nigga. 14 days, I know I don't want to remember dreams, though. You don't want to? Bro, my, my dreams are like movies, man. Maybe you're a psychic. They don't make... I just, my car broke down. I went to an NBA player's house and got chased out. I thought I was going to die. Like, that's not some shit I want to remember. Bro. I want to wake up not knowing that <laughs> happened. You're him. <laughs> <laughs> you're him. I, I mean, yeah. Bro, if he if he goes bald, you're Professor X. Okay, John. No, he's my Morpheus. Yeah, huh? so, bro, but like, look, 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 look. I could have a dream that long because it was very eventful. I gave you the short version because I forgot most of it. But like, huh? you could have a dream. You forgot. You forget most of your dreams. You say you remember them though. No, but look, look. A you dream, remember the peak versions of Look, them. you could have a dream that lasts like a year. But you'll have it in 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I believe that I had that dream right there in the span of like 10, 20 minutes, which means I probably dreamt some other stuff throughout the night, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. So it's like, how yeah, far can remember, you go? You don't remember all eight hours of sleep, nigga? Can you imagine? You just, <laughs> no, nigga, you you just live with so many lives if you could remember all those dreams. No, nah, yeah, you don't remember but Some of those dreams hours. do come true. What is that called, though? Huh? When you oh, like daydreams, like, oh lucid manifestation, dreams, lucid dreams, and bro, I could do that. Like I could wake myself up in the dream whenever I want. Like I know I'm dreaming in the dream, and I just be going about Tell business. You the cheat code. He run through his own dreams, waking himself up. But that's, no, 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 I no, mean, no. That's some. That's Luke. Yeah, that's I know what you're talking but about. But like I can't be too conscious though. Like I'm conscious enough to where like I know I'm dreaming, and I could wake up at any moment. But it's not like. If I think too hard, like, hey, let me just go this way, like, then my dream is gonna always gonna wake me up because I'm trying too hard. Because you can't try too hard when you're sleeping. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've been, yeah. I've, I've had dreams. You can't be a before. try hard sleeper because <laughs> it's gonna wake you up. You gotta wake try you hard up. Awake. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about, John? Right? You gotta try hard to go back to sleep because you try hard not to sleep. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if people write down their own dreams though. I I do that now. You do? Yeah. Well, I I write voice notes. I don't be writing. When I wake up, I mean, well, recording, yeah, the, recording what happened. Yeah, in I just record voice notes. That's crazy. So, if you ever like steal my phone, you have access to a lot of weird dream mm-hmm. anecdotes. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, you showed up an hour but, late to this podcast, but what I happened you're in an hour, about, bro. Um, um my, my mom and Tears' mom met today, so we had Sunday um, dinner. So they're the reason you held the pod back. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm really. sure. I'm sure you scheduled for that. They didn't just appear, right? Actually, no. I kept asking my mom. I was like, "So, what time are you coming?" She's like, "I don't know. What time you want me to come?" I'm like, "Come on. What time are you going to get? Like, wait, what time that's you be not here? true, bro. He cap. That is, is. That is. That's, that's, that's not, not true, bro. He just cap right now, John. He's capping. What he cap right now. Is what he really? Well, because he was live on this fucking podcast set explaining the first time Tierra met your mom was like a couple months ago. No, I said oh. Tierra, my mom, and Tierra's mom. Oh, oh both the moms, moms met. met. Yeah. We had, um, we just had sun, Sunday dinner. Sunday. Yeah, we had spicy, not spicy, but it's a nice little meat. Okay, okay. what you ate? Yeah, yeah. Marcel? At, at 8.33, I received the text that you wasn't going to be here at 8.30. Yeah. And you didn't come for another hour, dog. You ridiculous. know what I did? I went to the backyard. I put new grass. To the old grass out, put new grass down. We watched a movie. I went outside. We came back in. Oh, did y'all, see, wait, did y'all see that new... Um, 
Justice did, League. Yeah, no. did you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you see it? Oh, did you see Marcel change the subjects? <laughs> no, you said no, you <laughs> said no. no. You that was that was fire. That was no, fire. No, you I said, love the director. Said, hey, no, you said, it's an no. IMAX. It's an IMAX. No, you, you said the movie thing. I want to make sure we talk about that. So did you see that or no? I like how what? he just switches topics when he don't want to talk about you it no know, more. Man. Nigga, I'm asking a question. That's wild, bro. Who was asking the question too? I answered the question. I said we had Sunday dinner with my both moms. Man, I remember not three days ago. This was seventy two hours ago, John. When low was like four days ago. Actually, no, it wasn't because it was the podcast before. Yeah, we skipped the last one. Exactly. So it was Mm -hmm. technically like a hundred hours ago. ago. Mm -hmm. A week ago. Let's say a hundred hours ago. A hundred. Marcel here, Marcellius Griggs. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you keep (laughs) nigga is but nigga will just say my government (laughs) name so casually. Uh, There's niggas on Twitter now who just call me Marcel. I'm like nigga, why? Nigga call you. No, don't call me my my. Don't call me my my boy gave out the (laughs) guppy. Niggas spell, niggas spell my name Niggas will throw two L's And everything Like niggas stop Hey hey hey, hey. You <laughs> was He like was it. just Letting me know How on time You were to everything man So you know what I'm saying I just wanna know Like what's up with that man Like I said man Something, something came out there But like things The in-laws come. came through yeah. But something's is gonna it? come up though They don't bro. know about How big this is They don't know this man the biggest Gaming podcast <laughs> number, man. Did she know third, that Third 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 biggest Yeah you should've told The you parents told that We top three Mom, and, and we're gonna be top five if y'all don't get this. You know what stepping. I'm saying? How should have said something how, like that? How, how long do I need to know her to call her my mom? To I would never do that unless you never do that. I'm gonna call another person that's not my mom. Mom, that's what I'm, you, I'm just asking the only you person I do that to is people I'm trolling with, like Willie's mom. I'll call her mom, but like as a troll, but like the troll, hey mom, and then she'll laugh, and then like Willie, do they know, laugh a lot? Mm. Actually, they kind of do a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you got it from. So, at least, so Lee doesn't call your mom mom. He'll do it too, but like as a troll as well. He'll be like, "Hi, mom," stuff like that. But like we, <laughs> but we also grew up going to his house since I was zero. So uh, you like my childhood friend, everybody. Very, mom very true. Mama. But then, but then my mom will tell people to call her mom. Like she told y'all to call her mom too. And will Lee will Lee call her? Not, I I'm, not, I'm not saying you do, but will Lee calls her mama low? When, yeah, when I was. Oh, but that's fine. Oh, so I can. So that's okay. Yeah, Mama Low. No, mama, but I'm saying I can mama just have zero. Like, a, like a mama, a mama name for my in law. Mama Agent I mean, you could really do whatever you want to. I'm just telling you what I, I don't. I can't call somebody else on my mom. Mom. Yeah, I don't think I can either. Like legitimately, like I could call my mom mom and not troll, but like I can't call someone else mom and not be like half kidding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah, that's why I be. I just be like, yeah, tell my mom to bring me something to eat. Like I'll tell that it's here, but I'm joking. Yeah, when I say that. Yeah. But I don't know how, like, I don't think I'll ever get to that point where I'm close enough to call somebody else. That's not my mom. My mom. Yeah, because your mom. Yeah, no one's going to get as close to you as your mom was. Yeah. You know I'm saying she wiped your ass, man. But I just want to know how y'all. Growing up, she wiped your ass. What about you, John? You ever, you ever call your in-law? She made sure mom? your ass was clean. Uh, Yo, how, how, wait, hold on, John. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, <laughs> how long did your mom wipe your ass before you could wipe it yourself? I don't know, nigga. I wasn't keeping up with time at that time. Nigga. I wasn't like, mm, I turned seven today and I haven't got any. Like, like, if it's seven, nigga, you're <laughs> f- if it took you to your seven, no. nigga, you're done, nigga. <laughs> no, but you you don't like have memories of your first time wiping? No, no wipe. nigga. No, that's not a memory. That shit is low key stressful, dog. That's not a memory. No, bro, that's no, stressful. They, don't they, like, tell me you of all niggas. You can't don't, tell you me, nigga. You got a picture like this? Dreams. With a toilet paper? <laughs> Like Will Chamberlain after he dropped yeah, 100. You hold it up like mama, my first wipe. Yeah, yeah. That, don't that's tell me that. a stressful wipe, bro. I know, but don't tell me because that nigga. Like, oh, how do I do this? It's like your first time taking a shower. Don't tell me the nigga who forgot his own dreams minutes after he woke up. You're going to remember when he shit. wiped himself the first time? I don't remember the first time, but, but I you remember, remember the last time? No, I remember one of <laughs> the yeah, first times. I remember times. the last time, nigga. Yeah, I remember the last time. It was 20 minutes ago. Yo, um, <laughs> can you turn that light on while I, while I talk? Uh, okay. John, go ahead. You was about to call. Is it, I don't even comment know on the mom thing. Oh, uh, the mom thing? This this cam is. Yeah. Oh. Um, flip, flip the cam to you, too. Or a low two stepping, so you. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. <laughs> do do do. Now this this is behind the scene footage with low turn on the lap. <laughs> low, you can bend over, bro. Your ass all in Jay Z face. <laughs> Get your ass out, whole face. Listen, I was listening to some Ola Ovito. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Yo, 
Can a nigga help me out? Nigga, fuck. You, 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 you know damn well you shouldn't been doing that. You know damn well you shouldn't be jumping like this. You know damn well. That's why you're on the fucking floor. Damn well leaping no. like that. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Just Low. straight. Just. You just created a chasm. <laughs> Yo, bro. Oh. I, you had to zoom into my face when he jumped. Well, you just made that contraception. Do like a replay zoom into my face. I was freaking out, bro. Oh, I don't hard. jump on shit. You don't learn a single lesson. Yo, bro. <laughs> You're stubborn. As long as you ashy niggas. <laughs> Just so stubborn. Oh, man. Um, John, you Oh, yeah, could, so John. You can how, resume. How, how long until um, you call an in-law mama? In-law? It, it, I'm it, definitely it, not calling it, it depends pops. how close we get. It depends how close we get. <laughs> how close we get. I call you mom. Now, I, don't say, I don't say like mom. Like, hey, mom. That, that's really my... Yeah, you got to be trolling and say mom. I don't call him. My mom, mom. I just say ma. ma. Wait, what do you call your mom? mom. You call her ma, 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 ma. ma. What you call your mom? Mom. See, that's just so long. Like mom. I just you know, mom. You know, <laughs> still, mom. <laughs> why are you mom. Dra- why are you dragging <laughs> on the last mom? Hill? Why are you <laughs> pronouncing it like that? Yeah, yeah, wait, how you, you, you say it? Mom. <laughs> you see how I say it? Nigga, yeah. it's one extra letter, nigga. It sounds you really, so. You it really sounds. You know what it sounds? It sounds yeah. so no, craft mac and cheese. Nigga, you're dragging the M, nigga. That's why it sounds so long. Mom. Mom. Uh, you're dragging so the M. So, how do you say it? You're dragging the M and the O. Now, you say Mom. it. Mom. No, no nigga. <laughs> no. Mom. Nah. No. How do you say it? <laughs> low, how do you say it? Low, I love, low. low. Yo, Shut up. How do you say yo, it? Nigga. No. Why are you dragging the M so long? Nigga? I said mom. Me, mom. <laughs> yeah, well, that's like if you put dad. Nigga. Or you go, dad, duh. Man, you going too hard. On the Dad, final you know what I'm saying? Nigga, we talking about like I call I call my mom either ma sometimes like hey mom yeah, yeah. or I call my my mom mommy it depends mommy That's I remember yeah bro I remember when, the first when you, so you call her mom just on normal situation and then when you feeling like down you call her mommy no so, I mean sometimes I just say mommy just to say it honestly oh I just be like mommy I feel like if, mommy if, if I'm too- talking to my 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 brother that's talking to Omar I'll say mommy. I, don't I know feel why. like mommy's mad childish though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, what yeah, you say, baby, One day yeah. on a Sunday, oh, my, tell mommy. My parents are making. I um, sit that I say that. What do you tell, call tell it? Mommy. Like um, keta. They call it like um. There's a word for it. What? What uh, word is keta? It's 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 called. Nigga, Yo, I Lee. definitely don't know that. Damn, I thought you were gonna walk by. Anyway, whatever. It's like this dough that they make. It's flat. It's almost like a pancake, but in like you can make it in whatever form. Yeah. Tastes Delicious, whatever she's making it right, and I pull up, and that day I was just feeling like I was too old to say mommy. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I felt like I was past that. Right. I was like 12, and I was like, "Yo, mom, what are we eating?" I didn't say yo. I was like, "Mom, what are we eating?" And then she just stopped because I was calling her mommy for 12 years. I said, "What the hell is what's going on?" I was like, "Yeah, I just call you mom now." <laughs> and she was like, "I hey. guess." And then every other time past that, we just went mom. That's when you gained your second zero. Niggas <laughs> 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 dumb. He had his first zero. He he stopped calling her mom. He said, "Mom." Cause Zero active. Mommy just feels like, you know, it feels like you gotta be real young. To real pull up ish. I, st- I mean, I still still wear diapers. I don't, I don't really know necessarily yeah, know. Like onesies. I'm still drinking titty milkish. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga retarded. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long. I mean, how often I call her mommy, but I know for a fact if me and Omar are talking, me and my brother talking, I'll call her. I reference her as mommy. I will. Um, but I definitely don't call her mom. I don't do that though, nigga. I'm just saying when you say it, I just John say and a few other kids on the bus. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, mom. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> oh yeah, they don't hate that one. Okay, go ahead, love. I don't, I don't think I don't think I ever call my mom mom. I'm you know saying mom. It just mom, sounds though. so like mom. you know what I'm saying. Mayonnaise and my spaghetti ish. You feel me? I'm not thinking about that either. Though. I just call mom. It I guess. Yeah, it, I guess a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. So does the English language, bro. And you speak that. Shit it feels sometimes. so. I put milk in my cereal and pop it in the microwave. Ish. You feel me? Davis does that. Davis? Shit. I say Davis. Davis? Davis does that shit. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. That's Davis is the only it. person I've ever met who does that. I tried that one time. How was it? It's just worse. It's not horrible, <laughs> but it just makes it taste worse. In my opinion. So I stopped doing. I actually it. like cold milk. I don't. I would never do that in my life. <laughs> I like. I like. I like warm milk when I'm sick. Like when I have a cold. Warm Not milk. Itself, warm bro. milk going down your I mean, throat when you're I, sick huh? is crazy, bro. Going okay. huh? The, oh, like no, right. just the way. Right, right. 
<laughs> the way it's <laughs> rushing <laughs> down your throat. <laughs> no, 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 no. A warm the milk. The warmth of the milk. Say, I can't wait to I can't get wait sick. to get that wet. <laughs> Yeah, y'all know what I mean. That hot, you said, that hot, hot way warm, to get no, 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 sick. No, no, that no. steaming hot, warm <laughs> milk. Yo, when you have like a cough or a cold, your whole throat is just like every yep. swallow and breath hurts, right? It's every sore, swallow. Yeah. So like when warm milk just greets that, your throat, or it can be hot, warm, or it can be warm water. It just tea. caresses that like hot the, the caressing, and dead ass, bro. For thunder like twenty rushing. minutes, for twenty minutes, my throat feels great, and then go back to feeling like ass. So I literally drank warm milk. You can do the same thing for warm tea, though. milk, just warm tea. Yea, yeah, but I ain't growing no, up. No, 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 no. You gotta have that warm milk. We just had, we had growing down up, your we just throat. had milk in the house all the time. We had tea, so. Mm. Yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, yo. You got if y'all got the time, watch that um Quinn Snyder. I mean, I'm not Quinn Snyder, Zach, Zach Snyder cut. Yeah. If oh, you have the time. The four, I, it's the four it's hours? A, yo, I watched it. I finished it today. It took me what you call it? What? I finished it today. It took me two Does everyone have HBO Max but me? I guess. Um you don't got HBO Max. No, no, I mean, I got something like that. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got something like that. Black but, car um, activated. <laughs> it, took, it, took me two, it took me two stretches, though, but way better. Two stretches? Way, way, way better. Because, wait, I mean, four, I'm not going to sit for a four-hour straight. Though. I'm, I'm good. curious. It was that good, but I just had stuff I had to do. So I had to break I'm it up in pieces. I'm curious how, gotcha. like, important those marquee, because that's like a... That's like a Chicago Bulls dynasty for HBO Max, right? That's like Power for Stars or uh, Breaking Bad for Netflix. Yeah, a lot of movies they can make out of that. Yeah, but it's like that costs them a ton. But I'm curious how much money they make on just the people that stick around after that's there. Like, yeah, you, you know people like Mandalorian though. for Disney Plus. You people, how they did all that branding in there? They got a lot of ads in that movie. Oh, were yeah they they they, they do a lot of zoom ins on Under Armour. Uh, Mercedes. Oh, I hate those. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when do all those, the like amount that. of times I had to be told that nigga Cyborg had a, a Under Armour. Um, yeah, uh, uh, he had an Under Armour bomber. Yeah, they zoomed bomber, in on that bitch and made. And then you got in. Gillette Fusion. Niggas had the camera on the for razor. No, like, for no reason. No reason. This nigga Batman just he could have been literally he, doing he got, anything he got like else. This. He got the razor in the water, just rinse it off for like four <laughs> seconds. Just razor Gillette. I was like, I was like, and he I, go for a nice little shave. Yo, I saw and was Batman was awful. I just hate that he just looked too slow. I don't like Ben Affleck. Batman, but look, I understand why he's that Batman. Do I do? But it's just like he's just like he's not. He don't give me Batman. Like he just he just look too much big. He's just a different version of like Batman. If I put him against Christian, but Christian Bale just give me that Batman. Like Superman is on point. I, if I seen that nigga in real life, uh, I may think he's Superman. Yeah, I, a, ain't, I ain't watch it, but that's the best Superman. It don't get no that's better. A crazy than that. take, bro. I'm gonna watch what, it. What? What? What you just said? About what? Ben Affleck. When you look at him, like, I, wait, watch I, watch wait, wait, Batman wait, 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 begins. Take? Batman begins. You didn't like his Batman. I didn't. And he the Joker was that. What did you say? I said I understand why it's that Batman. No, you said do before you like that it, you say, do you like it? Was it great? I like the other Batman better. I know. That's what we're saying. He's awful. Not awful. I love no, you, No, I don't I don't think he's awful. <laughs> John, Not awful. Please stop. I don't know. I don't I don't think he's awful. I just I mean, say, I, it, is it, it didn't give me that it, Batman feel. No, it's a di- I understand right, what you're, you're not, saying, but it's a different version of Batman. It's not the reg- it's not the everybody else uh character fit them. I can see that. Not really, because Superman, I don't like that version of Superman. You don't like that Superman? No. What Superman you like? <laughs> the one the Superman before because the Superman and that nigga's in is like But he looks like a more realistic like if it was on Earth for he real. He looks like Superman, but the way he acts is not like how Superman acts. You must know Superman. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> you know Superman. Fired, at the, at the end of the movie, you know Superman. Snow, I'm sorry, these are spoilers, but at the end of the movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f bitch? I'm sorry, this is spoilers. Like you about to go ahead. I ain't at watching the, about this. At the end of the movie, he's doing shit. I'm like, why? Superman would never do that. What are we doing right now? Do you know him? Because he, because oh wait, I got you. Is that hey. that Batman would not do? Hey, if Pride. Batman start pulling triggers, you like, oh, that Batman? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Batman said you thought you could beat it tonight. No, I'm not. I'm not. I ain't gonna say it's kill time. Yo, yeah. that's a yeah. funny ass TikTok. Someone's gonna say, John, you better get to it before this podcast come out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what I'm saying. Superman was doing not okay. not to that, but yeah. she right, was doing right, that type right, of right. shit. Probably, and I was like, nigga, that's not said, why was I was bad, man. We do get a butt whooping. Not Superman today. would not be doing that. But it's I like the movie. I like that version of the movie way more. He had that chameleon, that new chameleon. Huh? That new chameleon. I don't want to spoil it, but you know what I'm saying. Hey you guys, know. stop. Stop. Everything you guys chameleon. are saying is teetering on spoilers. You know and I want you to stop. At the end of the day, though, that, that version is way better. Even though it's like twice as long, I still like that version better. Ooh. The original version, 
it's just they were. It was. It's very clear they were trying to go in two different directions. It's the a more flex he at. did in a movie too that you probably gonna get because y'all like one percent niggas. You know what I'm saying? And Bat Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, had a flex at the end. It was in the first movie. So it was in the a, first movie. It's not a spoiler. So Superhero it was in the first flex, movie. No, but you know, no. So Batman, Superman came back to life. You know what I'm saying? That's already in the first movie, so you knew that already. He's talking about the scene but, where he said he bought he bought the bank. That can I hype it up? Young. Can I hype but it he up? said he's, if you've seen the first version, you've already seen that part. you see seen yeah, him warming it up. Yeah, yeah, severely underestimating my bad memory. Just let you guys know. So these movies that I could have had a chance yeah, to watch like again. That, the movie's so up long. My whole, the, I, I was lie. heating up the whole the joke. Movie, but he don't want to, he not, he not going to want to be spoiled though. The movie's so long that you're going to forget what happened in the first part with your memory because that's how long that movie is. Is it over three hours? So we're four, four hours. Over. Is it in episodes? No, it's no, one. it's a movie. And the way, but the way they break it up in the thing, they do break it up in parts, kind of like parts. I think it's like six parts. They, maybe they originally wanted it to be a, a yeah, six part, six part in the yeah. epilogue. But then they just said it's called epilogue. Okay. Um, <laughs> they just they wanted to break it up in parts though. They're going to upload it at HBO Max, Max like parts. But then they decided to just do it all in one. Yeah. To, but to be honest with you, I think I think that's interesting because the way that. Um, the way they did that movie because how poor the like lead up was to it because they didn't have that many other movies that really went deep into the characters they had to just do everything that long which then makes it interesting to see like what's going to happen next because if movies start to just become that long which I don't think is that ridiculous I think people be interested in just watching I think that like I'm excited there's more competition in the space but I'm a little sad that like you're going to have to have all of these services and it's like that means each service is going to have less uh, of a library yeah. because like when Disney pulled all of their stuff from Netflix because they wanted to come out with their own Disney Plus and then like HBO is going to do the same thing pull all of their stuff from so as soon as these deals end like I was just on Netflix you know I we accidentally uh, called um, all about the Benjamins money talks and I saw money talks on Netflix uh, last night and I was like oh shit, I'm gonna watch this and it said it was gonna be gone by the end of the month I was like damn so I watched it. Mm. Great movie. Chris Tucker's underrated. I miss that guy. Um, overall, I don't know, man. I don't know who got the streaming services. Um, but I have, I have Netflix just by default, but I used to have Hulu, and it's, that's the reason why I stopped I Netflix. doing Hulu. You have Netflix? I got Netflix. Yeah. You have your own Netflix? Well, Tier has Netflix. Netflix. Oh, you've been you've been stealing Netflix since the eighties. Oh, man. for sure. I ain't <laughs> But I used to, hey, well, minute, Omar, minute, Omar, Omar used to have Hulu, and now I was like, oh, there's no need for me to have Hulu no Yeah, more. look, Prime Video, yo, okay, now this is crazy. I have Prime, I have Prime. Isn't that a waste of money? Bro, on Prime Video, I can have a subscription to, to Prime, and I thought that means you have the video service too. You still have to rent things on Prime Video. Not all, but yeah, you're right. Some of the stuff you do. Yeah, I, was, I went on there to see Boondocks, and it, 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 you had to, it oh, wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, I got Prime, Amazon Prime. Hulu, but you still have to pay HBO for it, which Max. doesn't make any sense. No, yeah, that's uh, a that's a, that's Netflix. not really a service then. I don't have Disney Plus. No, it's almost just like a library. <laughs> a library. Yeah, I have I have Disney Plus, Netflix. I guess I have Prime Video. Um, I need to get Disney Plus. It's a couple classes on that I need to go re up on. <laughs> but Disney Plus is like such a like. Once I get done with the classics, is it like it's, I'm that's done? A, that's a whole lot of classics you forget about. Like it's movies on there that came out in my time. That I didn't even know they came out. Well, like Aladdin? Nigga, you want to rewatch it? Leroy and Stitch. This nigga said Leroy. <laughs> it's a real movie. Leroy? Leroy and Stitch. Are you That's what ass? I said. Nigga, look it up. <laughs> look it up. Fuck over there. Smack you, Marcel. Look it up. Is it a parody or is it some? That's what yeah. I said. I didn't know my, my Disney history was famished. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look it up. And that's what I said. I said, you, you lying. It's Leroy and Stitch. Leroy and Stitch. Is- we watched the movie. I was like, what the f? When did this come out? I didn't even know. I thought it was just one movie. Was it a black person too? You about to see? Look, no, look. It's, it's the red version of Stitch. And he, what's his name? His name is Leroy. And how you spell it? <laughs> like Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like? You know, you know, what's so funny. I actually remember watching this movie. I just didn't know. That's I didn't know. I thought was. it was all one bit movie. My memory was just cloudy. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. It's so many classics. Isn't it's very difficult to come out with content though for a video service like that? You know, you imagine. They got Mulan out there too. Mulan is an underrated movie. But like, I didn't what even see movie that is nothing though? What you never seen? Um, well, I didn't see the new. They have a real life version. Oh, okay, no, I'm talking I didn't about see that one either. I, I know. I, I, I didn't see that. I either. seen the original, but I didn't remember the whole thing. But I know the concept. Oh, it's underrated. Underrated. It's, yeah, movie. very underrated. She needs more credit. Uh, and then no they cap. got another movie. I never watched Mulan. 
Yeah, you gotta what? watch it. Mm-mm. It's like a girl, and you? she and she's in the army of yeah, and overseas, and she the army of overseas. No, she's overseas <laughs> with Aquaman. She's what is it? Aquaman? She's over. <laughs> I'm assuming she's in the water now. No, 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 no. no, no. no she's overseas. So what is she? Asian, Japanese? You call Asian, Asia overseas dog? Huh? No, but Asians are Japanese as well. Asian is like the whole. Thing. Okay, okay. What it's, was Milan? What she was? I don't know what she was, but she yeah, she's okay. Asian. So she, where is she, she from, bro? Asia? She may be, is she Korean? No, she's not Korean. She's, she's, she's Asian. All right, she's, 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 okay, she's, she's Asian. Asian. Right. So she was Asian, and she acted like she was a boy to be in the military, exactly, or the special ops, whatever. She they wanted have. to be in the military very badly. Spe- yeah, special yeah, ops. So military. she dressed as a boy and pretended to be a boy, and was like. Knock just blessing them boys like in a very G rated way, like just really giving them boys the work, you know. And the whole time, she a girl, you feel me? So it's like, think about you playing basketball, and it's a girl, like you know what I'm saying, just just kept crossing you every day and leave real quick, then go in the locker room, just just, just fuck y'all up and practice and dip every day, come back, drop 40 every game. So, what's the story though? Because that's the premise. I'm gonna say that's the premise. You don't, I don't think whatever, I'll, I'll watch him. He don't remember the story. That that part of the that, that <laughs> I don't thing. like that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Huh? What? You don't know that shit. Hold on. Yeah, he, <laughs> he had to, he he had to slide because he, he slid it in, in there and it wasn't about necessary. the premise. I was like, you gonna get to the actual story? What ha- what happened in the thing? She's like, no, no, no. But she really did. She snuck in. She was busting. But her do you ass, know right? why she snuck in? She wanted to make a change, right? Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she went to fight. Yeah, you just. You, you, <laughs> all right, what? Do you remember what happened at the end? <laughs> Nope. Okay. I'll, so never mind. Yeah, just watch it. I didn't. I knew about the, that. The that part the of the movie, though. Honestly, I don't. I don't fuck with it now that I'm grown because I'm like, that's not realistic. But it is what it is. <laughs> hey, bro, you just got done talking about fucking superheroes, man. Yeah, they had a they had a <laughs> woman dress up as a man, and they had her within a month com- keeping up with military grade men. Superman shoots lasers out of his yeah, eyes. Which one is crazier to you? I know, but Superman is an alien, nigga. <laughs> we already know that yeah. nigga is not real. That boy not from our Batman orbit. Batman has been whooping I know, but we know that shit is not real. They, they're presenting that. Batman, like Batman was not really whooping no ass like this. They didn't even give him no special effects. He was kicking all slow. He only had like <laughs> he had very Mortal Kombat moves. Very basic <laughs> Mortal Kombat moves. A high kick, but do you? I don't think you understand the. I don't think you understand the premise of that that universe of DC. I don't. I don't want to yeah. see it again. Oh, it was it's bad. I mean, it's no, good, but Batman. Talk, the Batman reason why he don't like it, he don't, he don't like Batman because it's just the older version of Batman, and it's the more darker version of Batman. But it's just because it's it's an older version. So of Batman. He got old and big. That's that's, like, that's 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 that universe. He was that's unfit? what happened. No, he wasn't. He didn't have a gut, did he? He would no, no. no he he was in shape. He was just too big to be Batman. Oh, like built? Yeah, that's like that's it's like the same Batman from the other. Think thing. about think about you see what's He's the name in the first Spider Man? What's the name in the first um, Spider Man? Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Spider Man one, two, three, and the Spider Man four. They got low. <laughs> You'll be confused, right? Because uh, one is black, yeah. <laughs> but, but wait, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. you know what's so, you know so crazy? You know what's so crazy? He is black, but they about, they about to bring those um, Spider Man together, though. Oh my gosh, that might be that might go dummy. I always that thought, is that is gonna go dummy, no, bro. Cat. I always thought Tobey Maguire had like a real like punchable face, and it just <laughs> bothered me. But I loved his character. But it like I also wanted yeah, to punch him. Face you want to stick? Like I'd let people punch me when I play Spider Man on the PS2. Mm. Yeah, it make me, I just got it was satisfying just to allow people to fuck me up in that game. That um, what about to say um, Healing. that's another that Spider Man is also underrated. People give that Spider Man a lot of shit just because they look back at it now. What and about the middle Spider Man? I hate that Spider Man. Man, that Spider Man, that Spider Man's a word. No, they they erased that Spider Man out of history. They I said, but they're bringing that Spider Man back too. They trying to they doing like a multi universe. <laughs> John dropped. No, look, listen, they they that did, nigga they man, a, a, I know his sales were awful. <laughs> they I know that gross was just they like they had to cut that nigga <laughs> off. Hey, they, they had to email his people like we gonna need a little bit money yeah. back when we gave you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, they they were that shit. They doing a multi universe, so they they think about crossing all three. Miles Morales is like he that guy, and they and they talk about Miles Morales too. And who's who's the new young cat? I said that shit like an old head, but uh, the guy who was in all the movies in the last few years, bro. What's his name? Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. Yeah. You said, I fuck with him that always. Who's that, was that <laughs> new young cat? That new young cat. Yeah. What are you, 56, yeah. nigga? Happy birthday. You're 70. <laughs> you old ass nigga. Who's that new young cat? What is this, a senior citizen part <laughs> now? Y'all old ass niggas. Y'all niggas about the same age. Y'all niggas old as shit. Old ass niggas. 
Not that he did. He just plays that young. I don't think he's that young. No. Yo, he's he's a fucking demon as an actor, bro. Yeah, he, he, is. he is. Bro, Jay, at first, when I first saw him, I was like, he's Spider-Man? Like, that's my brain told me that. I ain't think it, but, you know, your brain jumps to conclusions. Yeah, he's 24. Y'all the same oh, age. Yes. They call him a young cat. That boy come and beat your young ass. Yo, bro, but when I saw my first movie I watched of his, I was genuinely jaw dropped. I you know, was like, he's, he's gonna have he, all the Spider Man. You know, be a funny joke. What's in that? the movie, they buy, oh, you was a bad Spider Man. They, they, they might, they might do that, though. <laughs> They're uh, not, not gonna do that. What? They wow. did that did, they did that in Deadpool. Oh, Deadass? Yeah, Deadpool made fun of other X Men all, like, all throughout the movie. Say what? Hell yeah. Wait, uh, Deadpool was an X Man? He was. What? The only thing I remember about X Men is Cyclops and Xavier, bro. That's you remember Wolverine? You remember Wolverine? Oh, Wolverine and Storm. That's the <laughs> mess. That's the main dude. I was like, God damn, they call it X Men because he do this. <laughs> How you, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. When I was growing up, I thought that nigga was X Men. I thought he was the X Men. Yeah, I thought he was the X Men. And then X Men and other nah, niggas. You definitely what? Xavier was the leader, bro. No, but, but I just thought that. I thought Wolverine. But you was see him X-Men. on every cover, like every cover. They would you would have thought it was Wolverine. I they thought I was exploiting that nigga. Man. I don't understand how they had him for cool. movies. He's like again. <laughs> X Man comes back from the future. Like they just throwing different names, and they just threw that nigga in every single X Man. Yeah, we bro. need you again. Hey, you for the runoff. If we think about like successful fake superhuman um, storylines, X Men is like the most disappointing of the ones that are still large, isn't it? Because they had the opportunity the to ended, do. Yeah, 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 they got bad. Like they. They made it where nobody even watched the other movies yeah. that they peeped in the other movies. Yeah, like if a Spider Man comes out, dicks are getting hard, bro, and titties are but perking thing, up. But the thing but about like, nobody gets their dick hard over X Men like that no well, more. Well, it's done already. So yeah, they, they messed it. up. They messed up. Yeah, they, they the last two they fucked up too bad actually. Man, not bad. What was the last movie? I remember one dropped like in 2014. It's Phoenix. I just, no, it's Dark Phoenix. They it, dropped in like got, 2016, yeah, 2017. I didn't yeah. even watch yeah, it. Yeah, yet, I skipped but that shit. Yeah, it, it, it started getting bad after they brought Saber Tooth and them the weird ones. But they kept they kept revamping everyone else except for Wolverine. That's that was their biggest problem. Oh, yeah. That and the storyline became way too convoluted. It is oh, convoluted. They had, a, they had their own like Wolverine movie. Yeah, they had, they had two, two. They had two Wolverine yeah. movies. I heard the first one was Logan. and he had a girl and he had a daughter. That's that was the first one. What's her name? Little Wolverine. Uh, oh, you. T- oh, oh, no, you talking about name, bro? <laughs> you talking talk about you talking about Logan? Yeah, Logan, Logan was that heard was, that was probably heard the best good. one. Yeah, yeah. He had a little girl and she was little little Wolverine. But that really wasn't even. I mean, I know he's part of X Men, but that really wasn't an X Men movie. That was a that was definitely Wolverine. a Wolverine movie. But yeah, X Men they me, they messed up. They were good back in the day too. And they started. Man, how you movies. know? They was young, nigga. nigga. I used to watch that shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, word to my mother. Word to mom. Nigga, you were what's word to mom? What, 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 what year were you born? What, what word year to mom? Huh? How old are you again? <laughs> I'm 36 years younger than you. Word to mom. <laughs> 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 Words of mum. Words of mum. Oh, you know Tom Holland. He's um, he's um, British. bro. I love British. That guy yeah, now. he's British. Yeah, British. bro. I'm stunned by like how you get. How could you have an accent that incredible yeah. for that long, bro? Him, him and Idris Elba. 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 They get. They get. Bro, you they get convinced coach. me he was British whole time. Speech coach. Just, speech coach. I need that. I know, but he, all American too. But British. E- e- Idris is. Like actual voice yeah. is so it's so fucking deep British UK to the death of him that I didn't know that's what he sound like until I actually saw an interview. That's but it his entire guard, time. Bro. Yeah, like Spider Man is British, bro. Get that, Mike. Yeah. He drinks tea. You and said shit. mate. <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? Don't say that. Oh, they don't. They still do say that's mate. Australia. No, no. It's it's mate. It's both. That, mate. Oh, yeah, that because is Alfred, it's Alfred, Alfred, Alfred shit, said it. Alfred is Alfred Batman's butler. Isn't he British? I don't know, nigga. Yeah. He says mate. He says when mate. When he said mate? Yeah. When? Not about Australia. In Gotham? He said mate. He said, watch out, mate. He was talking okay. to Selena Kyle. I get that, but you know the word that exists might, in That the might language. have been a joke, though, because you know she's, she's Australian. Her character is Australian. Catwoman's Australian? Yeah, that might have been a joke. That ass? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to like I thought Catwoman. She was, I thought she was Gotham. Is like, okay. let me chill. Hey, yeah, yeah, facts. What? What, what you about to say? <laughs> Hold on. This nigga said Cat Williams cosplay. Cat Williams. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yo, Cat Williams cosplay That's crazy. is crazy. You can't come in with a you green had a cr- suit, <laughs> and a Lo- fucking a perm. perm, a lot of sweat. Oh shit! And nigga, good you said jokes. Cat Woman's cosplay, bro. Cat Woman. You saw? Oh, you that Cat Cat Williams baby shower. 
<laughs> no, oh my God. God. I feel like I feel like I'm maybe more into comics than y'all are. What are you talking about? I hate this guy <laughs> so much, bro. Yeah. I hate him. I thought I, I hate be, him am, so am, much. But am I though? You're baiting me. I'm asking a question. No, you're baiting me. That's the you question. Are we doing the same thing we said early on in the, in the podcast when niggas just ask questions and all of a sudden it's a problem. We'll just ask you a question. Nigga. Bro, you're baiting yeah. me right now. You I'm do, asking. You, you be throwing them. You yeah. be throwing them problems quick though. I be letting two of the problems you try to slip over quick. I let it slide. Yo, don't you hate when like somebody you say something and then even if it's like. Let's say I say something and John disagrees with me. John responds like, "Yo, bro, you're so dumb." Don't you hate people like that? I, I know, guess. I know somebody I know like that. Are they be getting too mad? Oh no, they, they just immediately get to assaulting you because they disagree. Yeah. Like they don't know how to be like, "Nah." Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead. I'd be like, "Yo, that light's too bright right now, man." The fuck, you stupid ass boy. That's not <laughs> yellow. <laughs> you dumb boy. You dummy. That's not yellow. <laughs> Where to my mother? This nigga's dumb. Oh my. God. <laughs> Dummy boy, they make a whole event. They do get loud, just disagreeing with I you. That's but just that's, fascinating. But that happens on NBA Twitter all the time. That's funny. Yeah, but it's, Twitter is one thing. In real life, is a different story. Oh well, yeah, for sure. Because like if you if you so say like um, Ben Affleck's uh, Batman is trash, oh, yeah. I'll be like, Nah, I think your take is bad, and you got nah, he's stupid, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid that's little that's purple bro, short wear boy. You dumb, Yo, you're glasses horrible, 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 nigga. Bro. Are you horrible. serious? I'm gonna start getting nuclear. Are you serious? Just. Off a whim, no cap. That would be crazy when you said it's a bad take. It John was like, "Nigga, are you retarded? It's horrible, <laughs> nigga." Ben Affleck, he's a horrible actor, nigga. <laughs> he bad. should never play Ben Batman, nigga. You dumb, nigga. Stupid boy. <laughs> it went from Ben Affleck is horrible to you're just stupid right now because uh, you, 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 you disagree yeah. with me, nigga. <laughs> but nigga, Fredo, do I? That know more about comics, y'all. You're baiting me, bro. And no, I don't I'm fall just for I'm bait. asking. I don't fall for bait, man. I'm asking. Because uh, I don't think I know that much about comics anyway, but I'm just asking amongst. Uh, I don't think oh. you do. I don't think you, I don't think you oh. watch nearly as much comedy as me. I think you just have a better memory than me, Ooh. so you might remember some jokes. Like if we watch the same stand up. No, you, I didn't say comedy, I said comics. I know more about comics than you. Mm. Oh no no I'm sorry I'm talking about like comic book like, Oh no like no 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 You would destroy me in that I, I don't I don't oh. read so Yeah you got out of lane point <laughs> You would destroy us <laughs> No this nigga don't shit is about retarded. him Cause we talking about Can't Batman say shit about him <laughs> <laughs> We know about a comic <laughs> That's crazy. We talking about two different things. You thought you thought I was. Yeah, I thought you said comedians. Like no, it's no. not even close. But I know I watch yeah. more comedy than you. Um, uh, comedy, yeah, you, you definitely watch more. I, I had a stage in my life where I go to the library and rank comics, and the the librarian was a bitch, bro. Because she was telling me like she was trying me, bro. Like I don't know how to read. She's like, bro, why you why you reading these books? Get the regular grade two books. I right, what the fuck are you trying me for? The comics is more lit. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She turned up on you for that. <laughs> I don't want to read grade two, but shut up, you're stupid. I said you're reading that book and you weren't reading it. Go to grade K twelve. Because because we used to do this thing where the, she'd bring our class to the library and we would all have to pick a book. And I already know I can read better than the class. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? I don't tremble when the teacher asks me to to read. Don't you hate class. those niggas? The popcorn readers. The ones who tremble. The popcorn reader yeah, niggas. The uh, I pop the who? The phantoms. Stop. Uh, the ones that can't read, bro. The ones. I, to, uh, why you gonna go why, why you make that a meme? I, why? But why you do that about phantom? Like, oh. Why you say that? Well, why you say that about phantom though? Like you can see why? like the, the teardrop, Dang. the teardrop of sweat just beating Dang. down his face. But why you do that about <laughs> when he gets phantom, popcorn? Bro? But it's like uh, everybody been called, but me and Marcel so it's Possibility I can get called, but he fucked with me though. He Phantom, me. do he you want to read the next paragraph? <laughs> <laughs> doom, doom, doof, doom, doof, doof, doof. <laughs> you can just hear his heartbeat. It means none but a paragraph. We take that nigga 30 minutes to get to a paragraph, bro. The Wait, teacher so, so is. How does, not he, how does he read? What's an example? Since you know he, he, stop, stop, it's like this. It's like this. Let me let me give you let me show you how Phantom reads to some Jay-Z lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Let me put this shit up. What's the song, well, bro? You know what's so fucked up when they be reading and then they'll get to a word they don't know. They like the der die. How you say der, this one, teacher? And it's just a like, <laughs> it's it's director. And then everybody like this nigga couldn't spell director. <laughs> it'd, be like, some, it it'd be some simple. Yeah, it's just something mad. So I'm like, nigga, there's no way. We'll draw a blueprint. It must be easy. It's just <laughs> a matter of knowing when to say no or yes. But even if he Stop. even if he gets the words what? correct, his flow is just like on on zero. He'd be rapping it. He'd be rapping. <laughs> Actually, he could probably do it better if he rapped to it. No cap. 
Because sometimes people just don't have the rhythm for reading. Is Phantom the worst um, reader you know? Swear to God. <laughs> oh my God. By far, too. <laughs> by such a large margin, man. Stop. Stop, bro. There's, yeah, Phantom. I've never heard Phantom read, but he might, he might, um, he might have a speech impediment or he might be yeah, a Can literate. I tell you guys a secret, man? In the, uh, in the AMP goes back to school video, hmm. all those guys failed multiple times. But like, for the purpose of the video, if everybody drops out in the second grade, it's not going nowhere. What would they, they fail? Bro, it was like there was there was a science question, right? Oh, this, I and it was like actually. the core of the earth, the mantle, and the crust. Now you can know nothing, right? Yeah. But if an arrow is pointing to the edge of the world, the middle of the world, and the very middle, <laughs> yeah, they felt that you could explain. You could think the core is obviously yeah. in the middle, middle, yeah. and the crust is obviously on the outside, so the which mantle. leaves the mantle. They all got it wrong, bro. Holy moly! Holy. Except Kai, because he copied off me. Oh man! So Duke got that wrong, bro. Everybody got it wrong, and it's because they all copied off a person who got it There's wrong. There's no way Davis got that wrong. Not, da- not little Davis, Davis with a bow tie. Davis got that wrong, wrong, bro. Not little Davis with a bow tie. Not Davis who just who just was in high school so last then, month. So then we <laughs> he knows about so the mantle. Got, so then we got to grade seven, right? Oh, we got to the seventh grade, and the seventh grade aim, in the AMP video was like. I don't, yo, Omar playing the video, he went crazy because it was like five pages of literature you had to read and you had to answer questions about the literature. So. That's seventh grade, though, unfortunately. No, no, it, I it hated is. That. It is, 100%. It is 100%. I, yeah, but did, you, did you hate that? I hated that. We had to read a whole bunch of shit and they would just give you two questions about yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, I realized, oh, like, I realized man, like, it's actually very difficult to understand what's being written. When you don't give a fuck, because I had to reread paragraphs yeah. like five times. Dog, yeah, when you read it was five tough. pages of bullshit. <laughs> You're sitting there like, why do I need to Wait, know did, this? Did he, did he give you the questions before, though? Yeah, all the questions were there, but he, okay, he okay. gave us five minutes to do them. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, that's so. That's five minutes is crazy, but I ain't gonna lie. I used to re, I used to read the questions first. Yeah, and then try to see yeah, it in a, to see where's, where it's at. Skim through it to see if it pop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's up. what I did. That's yeah, what okay. I did. Because there's didn't no work. way I'm reading just just right wrong. now. My my no. brain. You're right. When I was attention span. When I was growing up. Trying to like give a fuck about what I'm reading about in that moment was the most difficult thing because yeah. I could clearly I really read felt it. like Polo G back then. I didn't get no fucks. <laughs> That's a new song he dropped. It's hard. Oh, he dropped a new song. Yeah, I don't get no fucks. I'll overlook the bad joke just because you got me excited. Polo G dropped a new track. It's not that no, Polo. No, all, everything Polo G has released into the world has been insane in the past been like he month. The new, that new song, oh, three headed G and F, is that, that one? Three headed no G and F. It came out. A that three ago. three headed goat, a three headed goat, or three headed song with uh, him, baby, uh, who, baby, no, 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 no. Oh, you talking about you talking about that song? No, I'm not agreeing with you that one. Headshot. You don't but, like that song? No, it's good, but I'm talking about headshot right now with him, oh. little TJ and Fabio Foreign. Crazy. Whoa, I never heard that. Crazy. All right, say less. They said it was like it was like Kyrie, KD, and James Harden on the bench. Fire. I'm I'm, I'm peep that's called headshot. I believe so. Y'all, y'all follow the new Drake. It was I. Yeah, sorry. 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 You know I like more. This oh, I can't say that. But um the shit he did with Roddy Rich that's been leaked for a while. I've been waiting for hey. him. Oh, Bro, yeah. I've been listening to hey, that t- on t- repeat. T- t- tell him who the plug was. I'm literally avoiding that because it's not technically legal, so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to the um but hypo- hy- <laughs> hypothetically, hypothetically John hypothetically John would have been the plug for that. You know mm. Hypothetically low. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think I think I just heard of it. On OG YouTube. status. On OG, that's me. OG. I ain't gonna lie. No, <laughs> like like I don't know if anybody's saying this, but that Ross verse wasn't that good. I honestly th- like it was just it was a cool vibe, but it, it was a cool vibe. It, none of that shit he dropped in that little three piece was as good of a vibe as like mm-hmm. Do Not Disturb, but it wasn't as lit as like a um what's that song he dropped? Uh, who? Next something Who's next? next What's next No no next. Fuck I'm blanking on it bro When he dropped like a year ago bro That shit went crazy I'm I'm blanking on it But whatever It just It wasn't the best of what he had Um, Personally I, don't think I was so. just surprised about that That Ross verse I thought the Ross verse was Gonna be better Anytime I see Drake and Ross I'm like oh man This is about to be You excited by Drake and Ross <laughs> You don't you Old ass dude No bro <laughs> Whoa, oh, whoa, I got excited by Drake and Lil Baby. <laughs> that, yeah, that was that actually Lil Baby verse. <laughs> like that. Actually, that's the <laughs> bump Ray Ross. No, no, I actually, I actually fought with that song. Yeah, that, it was I a good track. That's that my favorite one, one on there. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's my favorite one. He's a bump. Hey, we are we acting like Ross and Drake don't have. Like, oh, without a doubt, but that they do, but it just don't bring out like the young the youth in me. Say that. <laughs> 
Also, like, I haven't been excited I can't. about, like, I can't. I'm not, I, hey, I'm not going to be shamed by you because I like Rick Ross, nigga. <laughs> no, no problem with I'm that. Not, I'm not going to be All shamed. the Q-Dolls, like, back in 97, is <laughs> love nigga, Rick so. Ross. They got I'm the not, Lexus. Hey, not, you know I'm the not, Lexus they got. I'm not they got the Lexus with a little nigga. top off bumping. Nah, they be feeling cool as hell. Majority of them got bald hair, so you got a little hair on you, so you know what I'm saying? You don't fit the description. Yeah, yeah, I don't get excited about Ross. I'm not. I was not. I've never been like a huge fan of Rick Ross, though. <sighs> I, I've fucked with his music, but I've never been like a fan of his shit. So if I see his, like, I get more excited that Drake is there. Nah, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but that's what I'm saying. Like that, that song right there, Ashton Martin music is an amazing song. Bro, you're talking about like 14 years ago, man. Was Money in the Grave good for you? Well, yeah, show. yeah, Why? I like Money in the Grave. Okay, that's another I, yeah, Ross yeah, and Drake. Like Money in the Grave. Let you go. I, it's people one. like Rick Ross. I like hot wings, lemon pepper, and all <laughs> flat. Yeah. This, nigga, this nigga is mad disrespectful, bro. Uh, nah, I fuck with Rick Ross. Well, go, you like go ro- roses? I don't remember what that sounds like. Free Spirit? I don't, I don't know the name of them. It is all sound the same. He was, was that in more life? Song. No, Free Spirit was like a um, like a Lucy. Uh, so you fuck with, you fuck with Rick Ross. I know you gotta fuck with Ace Hood heavy. <laughs> <laughs> he was popping in your time. Yeah, bro, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he loved. Like he be <laughs> he be bumping Ace Hood out the back, speaking like you know, this. I'm not gonna lie, Ace Hood has been trying to make a comeback though. He's been trying. Yeah. He's been trying. Long been bumping the new shit, trying to keep up with the kid. You know what I'm saying? He had, Man, he had I, the music. I don't I don't care about keeping up with young niggas. Yo, I, I like I saw Nick Marks. Um, he started his stream <laughs> to an Ace Hood song. Uh, came in the posse. Yeah. Came in the posse. Oh, nigga, clicked damn, off. Damn, like a hockey, ice with the hockey, something like <laughs> I was about that. To say. And, and I was like, bro, this shit goes crazy. Is Ace still dropping? I went over there and I ain't like none of his music the way I like. Came in the posse. Yeah, so back I just in the days, like, when you got, uh, what's this guy? I didn't love being a new Bugatti. <laughs> yeah, that shit is hard. I, I, love I, mean, I, I was going really to it, actually. So, what y'all think uh, about like uh, artists who like Ace had a few year period where it was heat coming that's out? That's crazy. But then, like, it has never been the same, though. Never been the same. Because I mean, Drake said just one, those are just one hit wonders. Drake though. did say that. No, never but because it was same. it was years though. It's not just one hit though. Yeah, they had it like they had like. like a good, let me think of a good example. Four year span, and then after that, they just kind of like really bob it. Give me another. Give, oh, bob. Oh, bob. I guess is a bob is a perfect example yeah. of one because he was hot. Headband when headband. And you know what's crazy, bro? Nah, not the pillar, dang. Once you lose momentum, especially in entertainment, especially in music, like it's kind of difficult to get some shit that pops again, bro. Because yep. ever since Bob kind of fell off from his prime, man, I'm telling you, he dropped hits. Yo, I swear, he, he still dropped dropping hits, bro. He dropped like a four piece album where it might have been like a total of fifty fucking tracks, and like twelve of them was heat. It was called like Earth Wind. Is that a good? Is that a good ratio? Bro, I don't give a fuck. Wait, 12, it, Twelve out of fifty? Man? No, no. But the point. Tw- wait, what? Huh? He said get out of fifty <laughs> songs, twelve of them were. <laughs> that's no, 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 but I mean, but, it's still. Let's start off with that. That's a terrible ratio. I that is a terrible. Hits. Not listenable or yeah. not good. I mean. Hits. Your son, your son was in the game today. We had to um, kick him off the team, you know, because he, <laughs> he was out there shooting. Twelve out of fifty. He, yeah. he made twelve no, 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 shots, no, but he missed 24. forty. No, no, twenty four percent. Hey, the point I'm trying to make is that y'all don't understand what I'm saying. If there's such hits. bangers, we had to hear about them. No, no but that's the point no. I'm trying to make, though. No, so I, he's I, I, disagree, I, disagree I disagree with that. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. No, that's the point I'm trying. So, like Wale, for example, if if Wale Wale's drops a, a song better. right now that's incredible, nobody cares. It's not gonna get nearly as big as if he dropped it. No, they do. Just people, his name just don't excite nobody. You just have to be. No, it doesn't. Do it. John, because no. I when I look at the view count on fucking Spotify, it doesn't reflect that shit. Yeah. That's the point I'm trying to make, man. Well, Wally, Wally dropped a song not too long ago, and I was like, this yeah, song. He dropped is, a song uh, this, like a few weeks ago called Za, and it was, it was I like good. it. It's a it's a good vibe. It's a vibe. It's song. like a happy vibe. You get turned up. I don't what's know that, about what's, what's, what's that song he did with that white uh, white rapper? Eminem? I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> not not wild, not, not, what? That's so wild. <laughs> what's That's the, the only um, one you have in your mind, most likely. <laughs> uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't Machine know. Gun Kelly? No, another one. Mac Miller. The other one. Uh, Lil Dicky. Other one. Bro, uh, there's, there's, there's the one. The song. The song. MGK? That, no, he just said that. The song that. Um, Machine Gun Kelly. I, no. No. Uh, oh, Jack song, Harlow. This. No, oh. that actually, would well, actually would sound pretty good. Actually, no, but this the one Jack Harlow's first album is gonna go da- go down as like one of the the like top. Uh, but like Jack albums. Harlow's like who you bump on the highway, but then like when you get like in the hood, uh, you got to turn it down. <laughs> people may try you. You know what I'm saying? Like, prime example, we was in the city, right? <laughs> and it was uh, me, Willie, and, 
<laughs> what, what happened? What happened? <laughs> it was me, Malie, and somebody else. So we were just uh, drive. I was in the back seat, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Legs up, just chilling. We get there. And uh, somebody parks in the garage. You know, the garage is niggas begin left on cinder block. <laughs> so we like they uh we leave on the window down. <laughs> we was bumping Jake Harlow, the old Jake Harlow, cause the new shit hard. You know what I'm saying? But the old shit was more like mellow. Though you knew which was which like a, was like walking the park. Jake, uh, Jake, Harlow, Jake Harlow. Yeah, the back like the uh, album before the one two albums before. Okay, so he's bumping that one. So it's bumping, you know Even I don't know that Jake. Like, it's a vibe. Don't get me wrong. It's one of those you could, you know what I'm saying? Who, who bumping back. this? Huh? The other person in the car? Yeah, it's definitely so not Waleed. This, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Waleed, I, was, I was like, he's bumping bump? it, but you don't see that person. You see Waleed. He runs the window down. And you're like, don't park in there. They're going to break your shit. <laughs> <laughs> bumping Jack Harlow. So anybody would look around and be like, <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was pulling up to my house, which is hit in the hood. Um, and I was that's why I was laughing. Is I was playing Jack Harlow, and yeah. I was like, you turn that Let down. me turn out that little baby. <laughs> yeah, turn it's a little baby. Nigga be like, okay. You look like a lick, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, you look like, it's the first set of we. That I got a bad So We about to spank this nigga. Yo, Tyler, we about to take this nigga out and draw. He comes on, he goes, oh, how that shit? How, what's the melody on Tyler Hero? I can't remember how it go. I don't know. No, they got, they got hella trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> they go, um. Why he wouldn't that look like me with a hand? So, uh, fuck, I yeah. forgot. This shit was playing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I turned it down. I had to play Lil Baby. And then I opened up the door and I was like, Lil Baby, up, good man. everywhere. <laughs> you bump a Lil Baby, you good everywhere. Yo, hey, yo, yo imagine this <laughs> nigga. Imagine <laughs> AJ hopping out of the car trying to act hood. Because he bumping Lil Baby. I wasn't trying to act hood. Yo, this nigga went from, this nigga, this nigga went from bumping Jack Harlow to like, Yo, what up, Slime? You good? You yeah. good? That nigga hopped out the car like that. I ain't nigga. swearing back up. Don't touch my shit. Nigga, j- bumping little baby nah, doing that. Nah, 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 but that's that's funny because yeah. yeah, there's certain areas where I don't feel comfortable playing. Like, yeah. like I was listening to Bulo. Uh, I don't know who that is. He's like alternative. She's a singer. She's actually great. Yeah. Uh, I listen to her from time to time, but there's certain areas in Atlanta where like, I either has to turn it down or switch the song and have my windows down. Well, like another example, like you listen to some different type of music like Ed Sheeran. Like I, a few years back, I was in my Eric Sharon phase, and I was watching this shit, and I was just this song was just stuck in my head. I was like, "White lips, pale face, breathing in snowflakes, <laughs> burnt eyes." No There's way. no way you driving <laughs> around, around days inside out, of town, days in, wondering Nigga. the pavement. Close the eyes, only, close. The only areas that's acceptable. That's what I'm saying. The highway is. <laughs> The yeah, highway, bro, if you right? See, we hit the if exit. You see a just, charger, turn that shit down. Right, we hit the exit because <laughs> Water Boys here. You play Ed Sharon. They He's trying you. They trying you, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can't just pull up to the gas, the BP like around nigga. two two o'clock a.m. bumping Ed. You Sharon. might not even be able to put it off in Sandy Springs, no nah. cap, man. <laughs> it's like that's what you can play. Like you, you play that shit. You, you gotta turn down the red light too. <laughs> You play that shit in your living room. That's where you play that's that shit. That's E-Way music. E-Way. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? But you listen think, to that. But it's, it's crazy when you got to do that, though. You be, you be bumping that shit and start looking around. Niggas start looking at you like this. I'm trying to figure out, do I ever play music like that in a car? I play I, that. I play all different types of music. I be like. Life. In my car, I don't know. Yeah, I do. It, bro, everything on my I show, play everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, just, it depends the vibe I'm in. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, late night just cruising on the highway. So straight shot. I got straight shot music. But I, ha- I have I have th- that type of music as well, though. Like, I listen to everything. Like I listen to reggae. I listen to jazz. Uh, I don't do rock jazz. And roll. Though, I listen no. to all stuff. It depends. If I like the song, I like the song. I ain't gonna lie, bro. What? Let me get into that country for a good little mm-hmm. second. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna develop a theory about I this. I was like, what? That. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna. So you make a what, about what? What be a country? Like why more black people are listening to country? Country, country, country is smooth though. I ain't gonna lie, country. Like that like, when I went to private school, I was I had ninety four point five to bull on my little radio. Mm. Just, it'd be all just play it. No, I, I'm not I, like, I like melodic country, but that's just because melodic mm. shit works for just the, I'm, the casual consumer likes melodic Ooh. shit, so that applies to just about everybody. Yeah. So we talking about country music? We're gonna boost up in the in the country podcast section. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm, yeah. And you're right, I'm I'm not talking about the the bullshit. Poppy type of country. I'm, I'm talking about I, I like, like that that shit. Slow. I'm talking about yeah. I'm talking about give me like, something. What's your what's your what's your, my horse oh, no, 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 I grab my horse. Grab my horse and, it's and then I take off in the valley. <laughs> Yeah, bro. It's like it's like when you make a country song, bro. There's like 15 like approved topics you could talk about. It's the same it's ones. Your tractor. Yeah. Your oh, you gotta talk about bad girls. I went to the bonfire that night. <laughs> <laughs> I 
went to the bonfire that night. <laughs> oh, and I shit. met this stallion. Her name was so precious. <laughs> I took it to my bedroom. <laughs> And I popped that Mushan Perkins out of the sleeve. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Huh? I, I can't I, do. I can't do that country. That's like there's no appeal for it. But for it's me. the what's called I, the, I, the, I the, uh, the Luke Bryant. When they be like, I be li- I be feeling they pain from a different perspective. Yeah, I, I, they I be getting did the same way, just a different way. Like she's like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you coming like that? Like they, I, I ain't gonna lie to them. I, like the past like, couple of days, I done heard some country yeah. songs where I was like, man, these uh, niggas these talking niggas about talk, something. Yeah, these niggas talking. talking. About, they got some pain over yeah, in the these farm. Niggas, these niggas, <laughs> they get active over there. <laughs> these niggas yeah, talking, they do, bro. Man. They talking. They, they be they talking. Probably, we got and the same problem. And they, and, they, and, they, and they legit, the way they, they their music is, it sound like they just legit talking. Like they just sound like, my they do. girl. My girl. <laughs> She, came she walked out on me. She walked in the blue night sky. Like they just, they just be talking. I'll be like, man. I like how they be so descriptive they too. Yeah. yeah, they be getting real descriptive. Yeah, yeah the frogs crawling in, man. Huh? They really help me visualize the yeah, scenery. You see the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, they do. That's beautiful. You ever feel like sometimes um, you're listening to music, but they're like very obviously pandering? Like I was listening to that Division album, and there was a song where huh? Huh? Division who? Who? DVSM, bro. <laughs> Y'all know oh, who the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. Y'all know who I'm talking about, man. John, you know? R&B shit. I don't listen to much R&B, but I was, the new album came out on Spotify, put the shit on my page. Yeah, you don't listen that much R&B. I'm surprised. I'm getting into it, though. Um, Isn't A Boogie gets into R&B? Who? A Boogie? I mean, I don't know. Uh, I still consider him more rap, but oh, I was, you, I you're kinda, saying, is he R&B? I, yeah, I, 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 mm, I kind of see, but I, but I kind of see what he's see what saying. But it's it's more it's still more rap though. I, I, I still wouldn't think say that. about you. DTB. Like How they go? Oh. Hey, DTB three is gonna go crazy. I'm thinking about you. There's I'm, so many versions of DTB he could drop every three years. He needs a new version. Okay. Oh, what's what type of R and B do you listen to? Like um, like uh, Brent Fires, Frank Ocean, okay, uh, uh, Charles Gambino. So alternative R and B. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I fuck, I fuck with that too. I like I like regular R and B too, like uh like um Jamie Foxx, you know what I'm saying, Jasmine Sullivan. Um Okay. Got, um, uh-huh. You know you know those names, don't you? I just gonna love my older, older school. I know they were back then. <laughs> Jasmine <laughs> Sullivan. I bust the window out your car. Say, say another say another say another name. <laughs> Erica Badu. I know you know them names. Erica Badu. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Prince, I don't want. I don't, is, is it, I don't uh, know. I want to consider. Oh, yeah, she, she's more soul. She's more. This is a little. Yeah. Do you do you listen to um, neo soul or no? Uh, it depends. I've I, it been played around me and I liked it, but I just never asked them what the name of the artist was. Oh wow! So like, I was in the presence of it and I was I yeah. was bobbing. I understand. I, I can give. Bro, every time I played soul in my car and there are people in there. They took my phone. I was so. trying to remember, like, <laughs> which soul though? <laughs> I there's a playlist I've been playing, and I'm not gonna lie, I had some bangers. I like some, but of the which, songs. but which you should say soul is always like this. Let me, let me, let me find the playlist. I'll, I'll say some of the because yeah, I like it. See. It's blue. Remember, Actually, like, no, I guess it's not really soul. It's blues roots. Oh, there's other record okay, label. So, yeah, like that's not, okay. It was a record label. Like you probably know, you probably know him. Um, it's a record label. It's on a, like this is like bad. But, bad I, but I, but I fuck with um Brent Fires. Uh, I fuck with uh, you like Motown records. Niggas retarded, bro. I can't stand it. I'm a Grandmaster Flash. You listen to Ari Lennox or no? Huh? Ari Lennox? Nah, nah, more like Ron DMC. You know? <laughs> uh, you know, Biggie and Tupac. With, you know what I'm saying? Biggie uh, and Pop for name, sure. You couldn't even name me no R&B uh, singers back then. Name me, name me two or three R&B singers. Uh, R&B singers. Um, let's see here. Uh, Golden Girls. Um... Um, not they Mary, not don't do Mary J. Blige in the nineties. Anybody else? Okay, and uh, uh, Aretha Franklin. That's like seventies, but okay. Um, uh, you know them though. Uh, Anita <laughs> I mean, Baker. I, I know Anita them. Baker. Yeah, you going back further than the nineties, but okay. Um, I, I, I but the point know, I don't know nothing. Past the point that. I was trying to make was: you ever feel like sometimes people in the music is just trying to like pander to the audience they think is listening? So what was the video? That, I, I forgot what they said, but it was something about like. It was a talking point that a lot of women say. Oh, it's about consistency, and um, you know, women are like, "I just like a consistent guy." No, they don't. They don't. But they say that a lot, and they said it in the song. But it almost felt forced, like n- the rhythm and the flow didn't match up. Nothing matched up. 
<laughs> just maybe you try to force consistency in a song. Yeah, How'd and I just made me want to skip the song, bro. Sort of God, man. So I just felt weird about that, man. So what's I, the song that Division has? What's what name? What's the song? Division. Yeah. Uh, she said. I don't know. I got Division. They make they make good shit. Personally, uh, I've been I've been fucking. With you know the who album. that is? You know that? Ooh. I know I know who Division is, but I, I don't know if I, I know, know who. Is is this, this artist called DVSN? I think it's pronounced Division. I could be fucking wrong. No, you're right. No, you're right. It is Division. Division? Yeah. yeah. What, what's what's the background story on his name? Yes, I think it? it's a it's a couple it's a, people. It's a, it's a group. Yeah, and and look, bro, they have a song called Dangerous City with Buju Banton. So I went through his shit because I was like, yo, he killed his feature. I didn't realize he'd been making music for like thirty years. So I've been going through. I was going through his library. I was like, oh, I kind of fuck with this, and it was more reggae. Uh, uh, uh-huh. But every time I try playing music that's not like Lil Baby, people don't fuck with it, bro. It don't matter if it's alternative. It don't matter if it's pop. It, it don't, don't matter like, if it's I country. I don't fuck with people like that. People got the option to change their change. Some people just listen because they don't want to. Not you know what I'm saying. But I don't like those people. Though. Like yeah. I, like it gotta be some type of different. You palette. Open your mind to new. Music. Yeah, you definitely gotta open your mind, sure. especially not just all trap music all yeah. the damn day. You like, imagine fuck. trapping all the time, bro. Like, <laughs> like, every yeah, every moment you gotta be doing Niggas, this right here. That, that's the life, boy. You gotta trap every day. You wake up, trap. You go to sleep, <laughs> trap. <laughs> but trap twenty four. Trap open hop. When the trap calls, low. But there's niggas When the trap closed It don't, it don't close It don't close It's 24 7 Trap yeah, don't you, close Even people in People in the hood Listen to like Certain Like you listen to R&B And shit like that They, they, they break out Never mind. They do that when they having sex, slow. Yeah, I was about to say. Or if there was, you know what I'm saying, having a, a bad day in, in a round. I can't imagine they'd be just no. in their feelings. Like, yeah, I just play me some of that. Wake up Brent in the right now. But you know, you don't have to be in your feelings to play R and B. You just be a vibe. Yeah, but most of the time, people are in their feelings when they, you know. No, that. it's not. It's just a vibe. You and you, you and that's your feelings. That's, that's in your what feelings. in your feelings means. That's, what, that's why you're in your feelings. No, it's not. Bro, if feelings bro, don't if, after, I'm, if I'm feeling like, like yeah, I'm kill somebody, I'll I'm play bump like, that music. Like, if I'm feeling, I'll play music. For yeah, if I'm feeling like I want to let a nigga drop him down, <laughs> I'm gonna play that thumper bumper. You feel me? But if I feel like you know what I'm saying, my feelings, I'm gonna play some brick. Yeah, I know, but no, I, I understand that point. But like, what I'm saying is. If you just vibe, if you want to, if you want to chill vibe, that don't mean you're in your emotions. You just mean you're just chilling. You right? No, when I say in your feelings, I don't mean you're you're being emotional. You're just you, like you like, are in your emotion. Like when I'm that's what your emotion feels like. like you feeling that car vibe? Chilling and I play your emotion is low. By Russ, I'm in, I'm in my feelings right now. Like it's just, it's just a crew. Drive slow by Russ, bro. That's a vibe. Yes, it's that's a vibe. A vibe to listen to that that's Russ song. Oh, oh, you say lose control. Lose control could be a vibe too. Yeah, my shoulder. <laughs> Yo, no cap. I thought, I thought you might say you "Draw Slow" by Kanye. That's what I was waiting for. That. One oh, shot so. by Russ. That's a vibe too. You like there's songs I play when it's vibe, but I'm emotion, technically though. in my feelings in the, in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Now you about to run oh. up on the op. You're not bump. You're not bumping Russ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You pull up with the window down. Do we get sprayed down to Russ? You so know what, what, what vibe? What, what vibe? What emotion you in when you listen to like Lupe or Kanye? You know, uh, a more beat. like a beat, not necessarily. More like, um, uh, what's the word? Like, I have to be of a free mind because you don't just listen to that music with things going on in your mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Usually, yeah. I have to be like in a mood to think in a very dumb state. You gotta clear your mind. This nigga literally said in the state to think, and he said like very dumb. dumb. No, yeah, but like if I play mural, it. like I'm like if I play mural, that means like my headspace is on a one right now because that's a nine minutes of just lyrical. Spasm, just absolute Spasm. poetry. Let's not let's not let's not spend too much time on this part because you know John he don't listen to music like that. Yeah, he don't. He don't. You right. Yeah, he don't listen to music like yeah that. we should maybe bring up like a rapper he might know. Gucci Man. Nah, he a little too old. Uh, Love baby. Played by Cardi. What's that dude? What's that dude, Playboy. No, you What's that, dude that play? You don't listen to Playboy Cardi. He no. definitely no. does, bro. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> he definitely I'm, does. I'm sorry, I don't listen to Louis Armstrong like you. <laughs> How the fuck that is, man? You got people got digital yeah, copies you, of you Mozart. Listen, you listen, <laughs> an old ass nigga. Now you listen to Playboy Cardi. Mm-hmm. You, you, to- you disappointed in him? Yeah, I and am. you listen to the Apostle Choir. No, I don't. I don't even know who that is. You just saying shit. Just old. old, old <laughs> shit. That's all you yeah. trying to say. I'm surprised you know all these old he, shits. He, he got Zeus unreleased tracks. See, he's just talking. He's just talking right now. The Greek myth? Yes. Yep. <laughs> the Greek the Greek mix myth tape. The Greek myth tape. I think it's Zeus is it. in the fucking um DC movie. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. That's a Zeus is not a superhero though. I know, but he was still there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick just made an appearance. Yeah, Nick just came down from the from the heavens. Yeah, it does. To oh, save God. Earth. Nigga just said, oh, I got you. I don't worry about this shit. Zeus came in and started beating. 
Yeah, he was. Yeah, he's straight beating that nigga ass crazy. Superman just surprised me with his power though. Like it's just like that dude was so strong. It was DC, right? Yeah. Cool. So isn't Flash DC? Yeah. Yeah. Flash is powerful. Why the fuck too. would you need Zeus if you have? I mean, why would you need Flash if you have? He Zeus? He wasn't there yet. Oh, he ain't arrived was, yet. This is a, this is with the Amazonian. But Zeus, Zeus is Zeus isn't the fast god. No, but Zeus is lightning. Yeah, Flash is brand is lightning fast. I mean, but he's but, more so fast. There's there's an actual fast god though. Yeah. I don't know what his name. Oh, is, is it really? Yeah. yeah, fastest. You know what they taught us that stuff in fifth grade? I like, think it's Her- a- I think it's Hermes actually. Herpes. They taught <laughs> they taught us that they taught us that. <laughs> They taught they taught us that in school too, and I never use it again. Yeah, that's yeah. such a random thing for us to learn. Remember. Looking back on it, good morning class. Yeah. We're gonna learn about the fastest and slowest gods today, <laughs> and the one that's like slow in the middle kiss. of the ocean is gonna trick you. Don't fall for this one yeah. now. Don't fall for Medusa. Aquiana. Aquiana. What? Is it Aquiana? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I thought I thought uh, Aquaman <laughs> was useless as a kid because I'm like, if you don't got like, if he's I out of the water. Yeah, I thought on land he. Just a regular nigga And I thought Like he may have been Like a little bit stronger Like Batman strength But nothing like <laughs> What he was doing on land You know what I'm saying yeah. You thought he had Batman strength <laughs> That's I, wild. I thought he was only strong In the water So I'm like If a nigga don't got A water fountain Or a sewer Or a water bottle Nigga's really useless In a fight Batman has all the money In the world But does not have The technology of Iron Man Isn't that tough I mean, what is a Batman Like flying he, around he doesn't, he doesn't He doesn't believe that though He don't believe that He could have that yeah, he, he bought like, the bank. <laughs> <laughs> he bought the bank. Buy the bank. Yeah, it is. It is Hermes. Yeah. Superman Hermes. Whip that man. And actually, one of the Ass. one of the original flashes is based off of Hermes with the um, oh, wings right? on the hat. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, That's, they did a callback to that in one of the seasons. Yeah. Oh yeah. His yeah. dad wore that hat. It looked a little real clunky, but it was a cool little throwback. Yeah. But that that was that's God Hermes. God. Or, I mean, I don't know why Zeus was there though, because he had a. Gl- I can't say. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. Yeah. Don't spoil. Yeah. Shit, don't spoil. Bitch. It. I was like, man, Zeus, damn. I called everybody. You know, you know what I was thinking, though? You know what I was thinking to my mom? And I was just like, you know why the U.S., you don't see that many horses anymore? In the U.S.? Yeah, you don't see that many horses, do you? In Atlanta, I, I do. live in a city, man. I'm, so. say we live I'm in saying, city. like, in your life, And I still see horses in the I'm city. Say, I still see but you don't see a lot of horses. Like, it could what? be normal. Why are we supposed to see a lot of horses John, in Atlanta? John, if I saw horses, I'd be concerned. <laughs> no, I was like, why are we hey, seeing a lot of horses near our house? There's hey. a farm right here with a bunch of horses. But what I'm trying to say is... Where are you? Where do you think all the other horses are? Not in the city, John. I don't know, nigga. Because they're in Amazonia. Okay. I was talking to my mom, right? We was watching. Remember when the whole army came out on horses? And I was like, that's a lot of damn horses. <laughs> that's like 12,000 horses. It's like the whole Amazonian crew was coming down the hill on the horses. That is a like, fact. I'm like, where do you get all them horses from? I also want to know, how, how do they How re- do you train 12,000 horses? How do they reproduce? That's what I was saying. Yeah, the computer that renders that, yeah. I need to borrow it. Like that don't make no sense. Like they had all them horses. I don't know about a horse. How do how do the women on on that island reproduce? Hmm? Oh, I thought you were talking about rendering horses. Yeah. What are you talking about right now, bro? They no, call, I'm just saying what you said. But I'm, just, come I'm by, just talking about the concept. They come of, by crane, huh? They come by crane. <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> the guy, baby kiss. <laughs> baby kiss, <laughs> baby kiss. Yeah, I, don't, I, down, how, Amazon, how, baby. I wonder. I wonder how they explain that. Like, how how they, act, are they? How, how, aren't they strong though? Yeah, they are. They all are strong. Unless they scissor. Okay. <laughs> John, how the fuck would that cause kids, bro? <laughs> yeah, they live on a magical island, dog. I don't know how the kids appear, but it's probably magical. They probably come down from the sky and they land. Maybe, maybe if you <laughs> maybe come down and land like real niggas. They come down, you know, the, you know, you fall from the sky, you come down with your fist, and the babies get up. <laughs> That's I'm wild. I'm they had like fight. a sponsorship and they be coming out on a battle bus. That'd be you hear the boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Two babies coming down. They come <laughs> out of crunches, <laughs> ready to learn. They start fighting as babies. And and you get it like, and there's an auction. You get it like buy the babies with your you either you either uh, uh, you, you either learn how to fight. <laughs> What's up with you, nigga? Like, you you either, if there's an auction strong, and you can just buy the babies. You're a strong baby, or you're like a. Archer baby or horseback baby, they all get trained in the same things though. But not all of them do the same thing. No, they all do. The, they all are well rounded. They what they they did the entire time, the entire life. They just all well rounded training. Man. Wonder Woman is the only one who separates. What if it's an underground all. Wonder Man they didn't introduce yet? He's the one that makes all the babies. Wonder Man, that is a Wonder Man right there. That's a lot. Of Somebody everybody. should dead ass ask that question because I don't know how that happens. What if there's a there was Yo, there, He would if, have to have A large supply bro That's Exactly what if that, He's what, a wonder no, man I mean, I mean so serious I mean so serious He's wonderful 
<laughs> he's, he's, he's a tiny. He supplied a whole island of Amazonians. I mean, I mean, I mean, so serious. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just a whole bunch of hymns walking around. <laughs> just, just, just a bunch of just, just nigga like that. Another one. Come on. <laughs> Nigga, come here. They all have the same facial but structure. I, but I mean, so serious. <laughs> oh, they all look the same. Oh, <laughs> they all got one. Thing. Oh wait, wait, but that, but that is true. And, and the Amazonians, they all come in. They all no, there's black Amazonians too. Well, or maybe they get chosen. Maybe because you know, a Wonder Man can go to different universes and they get chosen and trained. I think they dead ass probably do have sex slaves. <laughs> no cap. Because in the in the witch call it in the witch call it they're way more brash against men than they are in the movies. Like they legit hate men. They cannot step foot on that thing. What? Yes, they hate men. So maybe they hate men. Maybe because they they're they jealous they because they only have babies by one man. So they are jealous. No, what if they just had a slew of just <laughs> sex slaves? John, I mean, so your serious. Your storylines are crazy right now, man. Sex slaves. What if they had a slew, a slew of sex slaves? Because remember in the first one, the woman makes, and it makes powerful women. They they all, all of them all of them are just they wait they is just, Wonder Woman the only one with superpowers? Yeah, she's the only one with superpowers. They're all oh. just they're all just strong, but she's the only one with superpowers. That's fucked up. Okay, because I was confused because I was like when Wonder Woman came in that on that uh robbery scene. She was, yeah, she, but she's the only one who can do shit like that. Oh. All all the rest of them can't. Imagine do if that. that whole island could do that. Yeah, that whole island they would just take over the world. <laughs> yeah. they, they would not give a fuck. No conscious, man. They oh, would. so they all rich, 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 just strongly strong girls. Yeah, they're strong, they're strong skilled women. Skilled and trained. Yeah. But she's the one who got superpowers. Oh, yeah, because she was like, every time she slain somebody, instant death. Like, that was getting slung hard. See, now I want to watch that. Because when I watched the, that Wonder Woman movie that dropped a couple years ago, she didn't get, I don't want to spoil shit. But I was just like, man, this is not eventful. She yeah. needs to be doing she's shit. Eventful like, I see now. Her, she's eventful She's very saying? eventful. Yeah, she's definitely eventful. She's kicking niggas' asses, bro. I really like, like, killing. Like, they're dead. Like, I know Why Batman don't kill. I hate superheroes that can't kill. Cause not all Sometimes Batman's cool But the arrow really got me Turned off on superheroes That can't kill bro it, He really did man I need I need to see you kill somebody Cause you Cause It just bothers me that like You think You're well, like Well Batman does kill He killed the aliens That's killing But that's why Again that's what I'm saying I don't want to keep spoiling it But it's a different Batman John Let's just, I just keep saying it Stop that, they was in the first one, but it's oh, a okay. di- but it's a different Batman though. That's Yo, not that's not the huh? the the original Batman is he's not supposed to kill. So wait, but the Batman that we're watching in that DC film, yeah, it's a different universe Batman. Like it's just a different. So universe if a bunch Batman. of aliens did come in the world, and that was the old Batman. He would just hit him and let him. Just yeah, I was yeah, he would just today, hit him. Guys. He would just capture him. And that's it. I'm glad we got on the topic of aliens. I was thinking about this. I'm gonna get you guys to take every time humans have like discovered some crazy technology. That led us to places that we've never been before. Mm-hmm. Like when Europeans came to North America, called them Indians, took their land, slayed them. Um, what what really slayed them was the was the plague, right? They brought that from actually. So Europeans brought could have been both disease to North America, mm-hmm. and then they brought North American disease back to Europe. Yeah, because like the immune system wasn't used to what's there. Yeah, yeah. If aliens actually did exist on Earth. <clears throat> If Europe to North America did that to the world, what the fuck are aliens going to do? Have we thought about this? True. Ali- that means like aliens should, they have not touched down. Because they would come with something so Man. ruthless to like humankind. So COVID. Nah, because like it's like a 99% Salamella. success rate. Worse. Like like Honestly, Ebola, but Ebola. successful. Well, why would they come here though? But the the Ebola, model, they caught it in the alien and they secured it quick. Wait, well, let me ask you this: Bro, do you, the do you fact believe, that they caught that is crazy? Do you 50% believe percent death is wild? Do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I think they exist. Extra- do you believe in aliens? I believe in extraterrestrial. Um, which is aliens. just say aliens. Just say just aliens. Say no, because don't. I, I don't want you to Yo, hurt bro, yourself. If there's a flower on a planet, that's an alien. That's an alien flower. Yeah. I so the it. point I'm making is, I think that a lot of a lot of I think a lot of aliens are so technical. Te- technologically advanced that they would not want to come here because it would be a point. It'd be pointless. Not, not really. That's why I believe. Or they blend in with us. Just to, just to. No, back. I, I, agree, I agree with him. I agree, agent. If, if they were here, we would have probably been done because it's just certain things that I can't imagine that would happen on other planets that will that will be able that we would be able to survive. They I mean, the aliens got to adapt. So they when they transform to yeah, us, they they're adapt. Not, they're not going to send off their. Oh, now pheromones. you're talking about just like, fair amounts. Okay. But they would like mass. It would. And it's like that's crazy. But it depends what alien comes. We may be alert. We might not be alert to all aliens. 
But it's hot. It's bro, not. It's Europe not. It's being to allergic. North America yeah. wiped out a good portion of the world. It's not. It's not being allergic. Just the fact that the way that they live their life on a whole nother planet. What they came down here a while ago and been living. They here would. They would have to be like involved. suited up. They would have to be suited up so there's like yes. no contact. Because they came down here with the Egyptians and they learned as then. That's why all the plagues back then. But they would have to stay then. though. But they would have to stay though. They did stay. And then they send their intel back to the motherland and they know and how to isn't train them. That, isn't it so sad that people have probably... That pyramid shit is crazy though. Yeah. Think about it. They've the been here since then and they involved with us as time went on. So 100, 3,000 years ago, they probably can live with us now because they learned after 3,000 years after all those plagues that kill people. They know like, you can't do this. And they said they were plagues, but plague is Greek for alien flu. <laughs> Y'all be saying shit, bro. Yep. No reason. <laughs> Not on some real shit though. Sneeze disease. I think that this this <laughs> that's such a that's such a catchy name. That would work with the kids. Sneeze disease. It, hey kids, there's been so much no knowledge one. that's been lost just because like it was in one person's mind or a library just went missing or the information. You know what I'm saying? So like mm-hmm. now it was on a rock and it start raining. Yeah, could you imagine if we forgot? <laughs> like somebody somebody discovered the number zero, bro. Do we know that? They, yep. ain't just, they ain't just come with the number zero they from birth. They tell his whole story on the outside of Pyramid and Rain washed it away so nobody know his story. Yeah. And it's like, when did they invent ink? You know what I'm saying? Because at a certain point, you had to start writing things down because you couldn't they, just memorize them in your head. They used something. But then, but again, like, it's crazy that they call, but they carve shit. Bro. And it's still it's still here. That's they the had shit that be wigs yeah. back then. They've been rocking wigs for a long time. I'm talking before they know. John, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm thinking about all the stuff. Of course, they did you could just us. no. I'm, I'm, no, I'm talking about way before they carved shit in like in just stones and shit, and that shit still exists now. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. To me, that's, that's wild. That's preserved correctly. Some of but it, how? But how do you know? That's what. How would you know? We know now to correctly preserve it, but how would you know? Because even if I carve something in a stone. It would take me years to realize that the stone itself will just get washed away with when it gets when it gets rain. Like it'll just start yeah. to smooth out. They wouldn't know. I would, it would take years That's for you saying. to if understand that. If it preserved, like say, if anything is. But like, what I'm saying is, how do they know how to rightly preserve it? They how do. It was accidental. If anything was inside mm. somewhere, it's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do it in a tree trunk because that's just gonna be that's gonna it's be gone. Gonna down, but but if it's in a tomb. Everything within this, like the treasure, it'll be you know more but, preserved. I but but how do you know that though? How they didn't you, know that it just happened to be enclosed. But no, but how do you even know that? Man, and maybe everything was accidental. How did not even know the way they built tombs and pyramids back then was just how they? I'm but, assuming, but you maybe were, they learned from back then because they put maybe they put like the caskets or someone dot on top and it washes away, so they know you got to put it under so it don't wash away, stay in one place. I get that point, but how do they even know the material to use to make sure that the, the pyramids aliens. stay up? The aliens. <laughs> It has to be. There's no other way. They right? came down and I don't. Help. I don't believe so. I think it just was a lot of death. We that couldn't. Was we couldn't recreate you guys, that today. I, I mean, I, that would be. Crazy. It, it is. It Those, was. the because I told. I joke about it, but I'm half serious too. David's named his dog Pharaoh, and Pharaohs is is like a synonym for king or leader, yeah. and that's what they describe like old Egyptian leaders. That's mm-hmm. the Pharaoh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were ruthless people. Ruthless. Yeah. Did yeah. not care about human life. Back right then, they were really so ruthless. I don't, you're not gonna conv- like. It's not difficult for me to convince. Like, if if if, if a advisor went to him was like, it will cost us forty two thousand men to build this pyramid, Pharaoh. They'd be like, yeah, all right, just take the peasants, go. Mm. You're not but gonna hesitate. Still, that's that's hard. It's still that's what I'm saying. I understand. I'm not saying the With manpower. No, I just want to know how they know how to how to build a brick. That will stand yeah. the test hey, of time. But you discovered that shit though. The, the same aliens way we discovered shit now. Them. The aliens had to tell I think them. It, I think it has to be because the they only... learned all this stuff. And you know how people get visions or creativity? They got to see something. So the aliens brought stuff no, they used. No, but they still had technology back then. I'm like, not saying they like, didn't. They, they would be like, "This seed, this seed is going to cure you from this cold." Here, so, boom. No, the like, aliens just, came they down and they bargained. Solve problems back they then. They bargained with the pharaoh. They, the alien, the first ship of aliens came down. Is like, "Yo, pharaoh, my guy." It was like. <laughs> It feels yeah, like wrong, you, that's how you die. You don't know. No, he said, My, my guy, guy, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. The alien came down, like, Yo, we're coming down. I got a couple of my troops. Those are my boys over there. Boys, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how they be talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Aliens, and they're talking alien. <laughs> beep, 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 yep. beep. They beeping and, and beeping. Zeros. I don't, but then, look. Then the aliens, right, talk to Pharaoh, like, yo, I got some people coming down. They're from all different tribes. You know what I'm saying? We, we've been watching y'all for a minute, and we're going to help you get what you want so you don't have to kill your men because it's going to take your whole 
your whole village to do it. There's so no we're going to help way. you do this so you can save your men and keep your peasants. But I'm in return, you, no you have way. to give us some test subjects so we can take them back to our planet and, and learn only, how to live on Earth. And not only that, look That's, at I don't know about that, but not only that, look at like how bro, they sketched. Look how they sketched out. Look how they sketched out things. <laughs> they were they were <laughs> put your wait, hand down. But they were they were sketching out. They were sketching out these big cats yes. looking beings. They next brought to them people. there. Yeah, that the, shit is crazy. They brought them with the with the, with the food and stuff they had. Yeah, it's from. It was out out of this world. So then, when they ate it, it changed them to creatures like them. The genetics changed. I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah, know. I mean, listen, how do you think we got a saber tooth and a really bro, mammoth? Bro, they took four K photos of the the goddamn shitty sand planet Mars, right? Yeah, dinosaurs. And they said that the way that the rocks have formed, there used to be water there. It's undeniable. So if we know there used to be water there, yeah. we know that there was, was life because yeah. water sustains life. Exactly. Right. So it don't matter if it's a fucking plant, if they're insects, if it's a little fly. It don't matter to me. That shit exists. But this being said, though, even if in the past people had knowledge of that, bro, language changes so quickly. There's no way to yeah. keep up. Think about like, let me say a sentence right now. John, your cap goes crazy. Now, 200 years from now, they're going to have to really sit there with the fucking 12th grade English teacher and break down what I said. John's cap. What's a cap? Is it the thing on his head? We call those hats. I guess they had another name for hat. Cap. Goes crazy? Crazy? Like berserk? Like, because we just use words that we know to mean something, but really don't mean that thing. Oh, I said, like, pull up to the pop like around Sam. Like, the kids have to digest that. Like 200 years from now, your 12th grade English teacher is going to have no fucking... Wow. The same way... It's going to have a name. Bro, we see here and we don't what Shakespeare was speaking regular, bro. He was speaking regular in his poetry. Yeah. But we don't know what the fuck Shakespeare meant. We have to sit there and the people go to school say for thou. You spend a whole week learning what. So what did Shakespeare really say, Marcel? Right. So that's two hundred years, right? So when they chalk shit up in stone from two thousand years ago, people wasn't like keeping track of what went, what meant what. And yeah. language changes so quickly and people come up with slang so quickly for stuff that everything we say we're used to and we understand the meaning. But 50 years from now, people aren't going to understand. 200 years from now, it's going to be like a foreign language. And then when they say they helped us, who are they? Yeah, they. The we, aliens. We don't even know. We're actually the redefining aliens. they as we speak. So yeah, the most, most they definitely the we're not going to know what that means. And they're here. But the only only point, honestly, what all y'all saying, I just, wanna, Transformers. I just want to know, because the only way that you would gain that type of knowledge is if time has to pass for you to understand what works and what doesn't work. Exactly. That's what they came so down So there's no bargain. way that time would, I don't think it was enough time had passed that. But that you got to think the aliens just didn't stop in Egypt. They but came that, down but, in every part of Earth and they embodied that. See, that's that the and reason learned. why I think there is aliens because there's no way that humans would, Bro, were, were if recording. They, were aliens, they didn't come for pyramids, dog. I'm not, I'm not saying no, they came, they came not, for everything. I'm not, I'm not saying they came for Ra- pyramids. Mount Rushmore? Carving stone Listen, this is, is like, not just carving aliens, stone. Man. And, they, and they actually, they actually, and they actually update that shit. Um, they updated to make oh, sure it stays but, that uh, way. But the pyramid shit, pyramids. they don't, they don't update that shit. It's just like how it is. So, I understand what you're saying. I'm not saying they came out here to go figure and out what the blocks. fuck was going on the pyramids. Okay, but look, look, look. Most the garden people, most people think pyramid and they think Egypt because Egypt is most well known for their pyramids. Yeah. But the biggest pyramids on Earth are actually in South America. They're just all underground. Mm. So some of the so there's you can find videos on YouTube. I know Yes Theory did a video that was really dope. Where yeah, Aztecs, Mayans, all of them. Mm. Where the, most of the pyramid is underground, but you can actually walk into like different parts of the. And they pyramid talk about the aliens in their pictures. Why they they got their hands up like that? I guess it could have just been a bad artist. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> but we don't. That's, that's the, the thing. Th- I, that's the thing. We don't know. That's if it was that bad th- artist, it wouldn't last. The good I mean, artist so, pictures last. I mean, so see, if you told niggas right now, architects. To how long would it take to build something like that without having today's technology? No, years. Bro. But if you told if you told years. me six hundred years. years ago that me and you can go to the park and have fun, right? Yeah. And then I can show you that memory right here on the screen. I would think you were a fucking alien because that makes no sense to me. So the same way pyramids make no sense to us because we don't understand the technology. Five hundred years ago, nothing. We're bro. We're about to send this memory of this session. To tens of thousands of people that are gonna see all, stuff. all around the world, and like we're top three in gaming, dog. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, what we're doing right now is alien, impossible shit to really most any part of human civilization. Because because we advance. What I'm saying is, and I'm not saying but that that, that wasn't advanced for them. Yes. Well, I'm yes. saying is even right now as we've advanced, 
the only logical way that we would be able to recreate pyramids without having the technology that we have right now, it would take us at a very, very long period of time. That's, and yeah. a lot and a lot of that information that we gained from the pyramids is based off the fact that pyramids already exist. So we can kind of gauge what type of material to use. That's true. So if you don't have that knowledge hundreds of years ago, where is that knowledge coming from? Okay, well, you have to think about this. It would have knowledge, to be trial and error. Knowledge was localized back then. Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? You had to pull up to the library to learn about some shit. And they didn't have t- thousands of copies of books, but they exactly. had one book. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And he put it in this one library in this one location. So if Greece was building some crazy stuff down here. Exactly. Like, like the Ottoman Empire, they don't know what the fuck is going on mm-hmm. down there in Rome. That's not knowledge that they know. So That's you why. can, All like, the for aliens example. fell down at different spots. Look, when 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 Europe came down to take over Africa, can you imagine being Africans and then like these people pull up with rifles, but you're like, what is that? What is that? What are you doing? Leave. And then they start firing projectiles at you. You'd be like stunned, right? Yeah. You'd be yeah. fucking stunned. And I remember learning about that. I would be. They had what was the one? It was called like Gatl gun or something like that. There was a name for the gun that first like machine gun that they came out with, and they was just taking over Africa with that gun, with that just that one gun because they had the technology, and so it's like. You, they were surprised by it, even though it was happening not too far from him. We're just used to information being everywhere now. But that information on how to build the pyramids existed. And that was an advancement at the time. But it was lost because nobody kept a good record of it yeah. that was preserved. And it's like, it doesn't necessarily... It's just a question to us now because we've gotten so far that we're like, how can we not just figure this out? They figured out so yeah. long ago. But I guarantee you, there's way more lost shit that didn't come in the form of a pyramid that we still don't have figured out right now. That people have been those known. Planks, those planks that stand up, they said that nobody can pull up. You know those, those heavy blocks and then the, the faces on the island? Yeah, I know you're talking about, but they, yeah, they were saying that how how was it possible that because they, they're assuming, what agents basically saying is, we all are assuming that there was no way that there was any type of advancements back then for them to be able to do that. What he's saying is there probably were advancements at that time. They just didn't preserve it the same way that none of us are like really preserving language right now because it's like, it's just language. So to them, it was just, this is just what we're doing. There's no need to actually preserve this knowledge because it's just, it is what it is. But to, to us now, we're like, there's no way y'all were that advanced. When in reality, they probably were that advanced. They, were. They, just, they, they, just, they just decided because how routine and mundane it probably was to them to not actually sit there and write any of that shit down. They, Especially they, at the time, it was probably much harder to like um, record things mm-hmm. in any other way outside of sketching shit on a fucking so you wall. you saying they had tractors back then, but they just left it out. No, no, not, not, tractors. not tractors, but they probably had something like a tractor not exactly like a track. They probably had things that made it easier for them to pick crops. They decided, though, not to, like, leave an instruction manual how to build it again because they just thought this is just what it was. This is how we're going to do. And then as time progressed, so when that time information just got in, lost. Come into place. But So you're saying they don't think about writing the stuff. Can we write this stuff down? We write things down now because I think it's just more accessible for us. But and, back then, there were and our population is like be. what's it seven it what billion now? You couldn't advance. Yeah. You look, couldn't look. advance unless they left stuff but down John, for if, the younger if, generation in scrolls. But the, but the stuff that they wrote down again was probably so routine. The things that they decided not to write down to them was just so mundane and routine. They didn't think they really had to write now because they thought and, they, some and that shit stuff gets wasn't forgotten. Think about it. Yeah, and so it, you, and also the way you interpret certain things probably was also like they right probably now, they had to write down everything though. They couldn't email or bro being in nature. Written. Being in nature is trendy right now. People are just discovering the benefits of being out in nature. Yeah. Bro, I can look at texts from two thousand years ago that could tell you the same fucking thing. Yeah, about the but you'll call it bullshit though because you know what I'm saying they'll be like, oh, but did a fucking scientist with a fucking lab coat figure it out? But it's like all there's plenty of shit that's been discovered that's either been forgotten or lost, and it's like we're just rediscovering a lot of that stuff, yeah. especially the more spiritual shit. No cap. Yeah, and I think some what of that stuff you, was probably written down. Do you think humans live with the dinosaurs? I mean, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm not an archaeologist. But, but some some of that stuff probably was written down. It's just as time continues to progress, going back to the whole language conversation. Ice Age, they did. Some of that... <laughs> Some some of the the language is probably hard to decipher because then we're sitting there trying to figure out Impossible. what is this word. But you know, what's yeah, crazy? what does this word mean? Two hundred years ago, we don't stand a chance for thousands. This is yeah. some of the side note. But you ever just watch a movie and think about if it was real and how and how bad the movie will go <laughs> in the first fifteen minutes? <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking about Ice Age, like a baby gets missing in the Arctic in a mammoth, a dirty sloth. A crazy, like a dangerous cyber tooth. Y'all running through the jungle for months, and a baby just comes back clean as hell, just just 
baby. You know what I'm saying? You fighting animal. pterodactyls and pterodactyls. everything just slung, <laughs> flying. Like the baby heart rate got to be out of this world. Baby got to. And have, the whole time a squirrel is just trying to pick on one nut. Has never starved, but it's just trying to pick on that one nut, bro. On that one nut. Because not only that, if you think about it, even the even the things that like in the Bible, I'm pretty sure that's not how the the original Bible was written. Nah, it's just our inter. It's, well, I know for a fact it's not. That's just our interpretation of what we think that it says. Yeah, that's so it. so that's the thing. So the Quran was uh, revealed like two thousand years ago. Yeah. Now that's a long time, and the language has changed a lot since then. Yep. So how our religion works is there's different scholars that dedicate their lives and every waking moment to just understanding it. Mm -hmm. And there's different schools of thought and you can go to Shafi'i or there's different imams yeah. or leaders that interpreted it and you rock this way or this way because a regular person who hasn't spent their life studying that language stands no chance of understanding what they meant 2000 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Shakespeare is mm. already a problem 200 years ago. Oh, and yeah. what we're saying now is going to be a problem like 75 years from oh, now. Yeah. So it kind of makes it difficult to, to maintain knowledge unless oh. you just continuously rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. Right. And when you ever watch those space movies where everybody's about to die and the most important people get on a spaceship. And then you think to yourself like, oh, I wouldn't make that shit as a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, because they're going for important people, like people that yeah. know how to like what what, what, they, what they call those chemists that like were bo bo botanists, the ones that keep plants alive and shit. Yeah, yeah. the engineers, you know, people yeah. like a chef or some shit on board. <laughs> Nigga, I'm funny. <laughs> they're not freaking no comedians, <laughs> nah, man. They you don't say need your no funny ass on Earth. We need the smart ones. But but that's the but that becomes a problem now because the population is so large. One out of ten thousand of us could be engineers and we'll be fine. But on yeah. a spaceship. Like think about you it. need you need, need muscle. You don't need the average guy to get dirty because you're not gonna want to clean the yeah. un unclog the toilets. And you know what? what? The, no, no. The more I was thinking more like heavy lifting shit. Yeah, but I'm talking about that too. I'm thinking about all the stuff that they wouldn't want to do because they are chemists. When they go on this planet, all they got to do stuff that they guess, pay people to do. The, you, th you thought about that? But that movie can do all the rich John. That's gonna be a tough one to fight for. No, I'm not gonna lie. no. Think about that movie where all the rich people got on, right? Yeah. Um. Right. Oh, they, I think they paid off at least for people for the crew. But think about if it gets to the point, they normally pay somebody to do that work. So the people that on that that do that work don't get on that plane, or enough of them don't get there. Who's going to do that work? But they're not rich no more because then if the whole premise of them is leaving the like Earth, their value doesn't exist anymore. So they all going to have to start so doing oh, shit like once that. Once they get on that plane, they all poor. They, they all left everything. the same. Yeah, yeah. They and, broke. and so it's like now we have so much technology, the likelihood that we can lose knowledge is low. We might be able to forget knowledge, but I don't think we're yeah. going to lose it the same way. But if we all went on a spaceship and there was 500 of us, that problem would just reoccur. And I was thinking about this too, because like if, if there is, um, back in the day, I'm pretty sure they weren't like really like handing out that much information to like person to person Nah It was pretty sure like If you were a carpenter That's what you did You, you did car You was a carpenter And like that's really it You didn't Also there wasn't any. much of that Neither though Up until like The industrial revolution There wasn't much of that Because Every You had If you weren't If you weren't Growing food and crops Yeah Like how Where were you gonna eat Fair You yeah. know what I'm saying And so before the industrial revolution There wasn't a lot of like Specialized trade And so Like carpenters and shit existed But it wasn't common That like there was plenty of households that didn't have to grow crops and corn and just random shit just to eat and survive. Yeah. It wasn't like there was markets that existed, but it wasn't like how we do them now. We're like, you know what I'm saying? There's just, well, maybe like one or 2% of this country does agriculture. Yeah. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's not many. And then there's so much technology. We don't need to do that shit no more. True. And they trade it and get paid very little because the government or nobody in this country respects them like that. And then we take advantage of that with low food costs that have antibiotics in them. True. But anyway. Are, are we uh, are we talking about the flight thing or are we going to do another playback video? I was assuming we were going to do it on playback. Okay. I do want to touch on I just want to say. Sure. Hold your head, flight, man. Hold your head, you know. They out here tripping. These demons out here. <laughs> and yes, they are demons. So hold your head, flight, man. Hold your head. Any 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 inspirational words? Uh, if this happens again, flight, it's your fault officially. So yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say in the video, she was like, "Oh man, flight, one, one more time for you, man. That's one more time, and I'm gonna have to start looking at you like, nigga, what are you doing, bro? Because like, I mean, come on, dog. Uh, yo, John, any any inspirational words for flight, man, as he All goes right. through these time trying yeah, times? Man, just keep your head high. Once you drop your soda, now you defeat it. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head high. 
You know, it's flight, so you gotta keep your head high. Mm. Plane to fly, you take flight. You must continue to rise. Just like the Falcons, you gotta rise up. No, me? not the Falcons, because them yeah. niggas right before keep you losing. get beat down in the fourth quarter. I don't know. About but the you know they never give up. They come out there every Sunday and lose. I want to say they still <laughs> lose though. Huh? They, they don't give lose. up though. They come out every Sunday. I know we trying to make sure fight don't take no more. L's no though, other so. team in NFL history has also given up. Neither John. Yeah. I, I Google that there. That's how I know that no forfeits yeah, ever. Never give up. So it's like man, you gotta look at the positive and everything. You know, like now, you're free. Mm. I was having a bad day yesterday. We were talking about Quavo and Sweetie. Oh yeah, you said take care. Oh yeah, I was. We're gonna do that on playback too, but whatever. We can talk about it here as well. Um, I, I don't know why people I are so that invested. Whole out of curiosity, why are people so invested? I haven't seen it because I thought we were gonna do on, on what's called. I don't know why so many people are invested in that relationship because I was like, that's that's such an obvious. They publicized it though, and they and they almost made it on both sides for both men and women, like the relationship to be like this should be a Who dream relationship. Want? Who think got the most Neither out of it? Neither one of them did. Who think got the most out of it? Neither one. Who got um, the most out of obviously it? Obviously, she did, for sure. So, na- so name name the stuff Quavo got out of it. I don't think Quavo got much out of it. Now, what did she get out of it? She got a whole lot of clout. Um, and no, I, don't, I need your answer, though. I say I don't think I don't think they they both got that much out of it, period. She got so, a lot out of it, bro. I don't know if she got a lot. Huh? I know huh? most people that I know, like my circles that know her, just know her through Quavo. Oh well, then y'all just don't but know. I don't who think she it's. Is. I don't think it's. I mean, I knew that her before, you, but the that's the what amount, I'm saying. Yeah, the amount she increased right now, you think is is more for her than is Quavo? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But it's always like that relationships. Mm, I mean, Maybe relationship to, with a girl is more. Well, it, it depends because I'm not well, in the relationship, Cardi so I don't B. know like what the specific things Cardi they Actually, yeah, Cardi B and Offset, yeah. yeah, 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 because yeah. it kind of becomes difficult. Jay Z got more B. Beyonce, don't he? How you? No, how you? Beyonce is more than Jay Z. Oh, for real, that's yes. another one. Yeah. Woo! No, you don't know that because Jay Z now. Businesses. Now I say that now. Now I think Jay Z does, but in the beginning of their their careers together, their um Beyonce had more. Beyonce did have more. Yes. Yeah, because it kind of becomes impossible at no, that level to know. find someone that is yeah. like of higher status. I just trying yeah. to see y'all opinion because I just I just want to see where y'all coming from with that part because even after the breakup, she's going to continue to do good. Yeah, she like be she, valid. She like be valid. Gonna, but I don't know. She's not going to fall off. Okay, because we were, so, we, we, were, we were talking about one hit wonders earlier, or like maybe two year one, two year wonders, or whatever. I honestly think that's where she's closer to than what Quavo is, because I think Quavo in they maybe the Migos, but definitely Quavo can like sustain a whole career. They about to drop another album. Migos. Exactly. I don't. I don't think oh, she really? can sustain. Yeah. Oh, wow. Quavo was back in the studio. And he put his Instagram after all the drama. He put like the little the nose blown emoji and him in the studio. Yeah, niggas is like niggas is like yo. Quavo, Quavo's either gonna. Yeah. But Quay was gonna drop either a take care or um what's features um beast mode. Oh my nigga, Quay was not that good, bro. He not that Quavo, good. Quay was not bad. The Migos, they he drop, not bad, they, but they he drop not, when I think they finna drop. Bro, he not he, go he not he not peak Drake or peak um future. No, uh, oh, Quay no, was good for chorus. He's a good chorus. Yeah. That's a bad argument, bro. You can't compare him to the best. No, that's yeah. that's what they said on Twitter. I'm just saying. Oh what really? On Twitter, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's a good chorus. He gives a good chorus. Uh-huh, I don't know. But yeah, like we, we were talking about earlier about like um, well, one hit wonders. I think she's more closer to a one hit wonder. That's why I said I don't know if she really gained. She got that song I, I don't know if she, she gained that of, much out of it though. I've been kind of fascinated by that like subgenre that's always existed, but it's been hot with like toxic male and female rap with like the baby, money bag yo. Mm-hmm. I don't know Stallion. if the baby's in there, but money bag yo. Oh, he's fucking in there. Um, yeah. I don't know if he's in there as much <laughs> as like oh, he's I pee in, in there, a cup called lemonade. He's in there, man. But that's just that's just rapping. Like what money bag yo says. What do you say? Moneybag Yo is like definitely like I I turn um we say the dime to a penny type shit yeah yeah that's just some that's just wild that's shit the nigga just said no but like the baby you, said what that you say, uh, why would you give up a dime for a penny oh, yeah some like some yeah. shit like, like you're just give, wild you're wild right you're just saying shit you're yeah. just saying shit right now so. anyway he said I, I'll take your bitch to a place she didn't know exists Mediterranean water my wrist <laughs> like nigga yeah, was in the studio really like I said Mediterranean but future future does that. Future Drake does that too. Drake, uh, what's that? What's that? Um, what's that song? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. And then Drake and Future Lily's rapping about rapping and singing about um how you as a woman you didn't know no better and it's my fault I should have took care of you a bit more because you're not intelligent enough to make the right decisions in your life. 
So I should have hit you out in Houston. That's that's literally how the song goes. He said, Drake said, I should have put you somewhere where nobody could find you. Um, Dallas and I don't know, but he was basically just going on back and forth about like how you as a woman, you're not these you you're the type of woman I always go for because you're unintelligent. You don't really know what you need in your life. You need saving, and it's my fault that these things went this way because I should have made all the decisions for you. I should have never given you that much leeway to make decisions. That's how the song. That's basically the premise of the song. I'm trying to find this one lyric that went fucking that. No shit. Are we talking money back, y'all? Yeah. Oh, I fucking found the song. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I was yeah. rapping it all summer. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're wild. Uh, shit. This nigga sounds rapping the toxic lyric <laughs> all summer. Nigga is a weirdo, nigga. Oh, yeah, nigga, we got bro, bro, I can't find it. What song is it? But he be saying crazy. I don't got a heart, but fuck it, I'm paid. Yeah, no, money bad. Yo, he'll just say wild shit. I can't find it, but it was about the one where he was like, "Oh, she went to ride the rover. Told her her Uber was closer. Bitch, you crazy." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I told you your Uber is closer. Your Uber. Your Uber <laughs> Hey, hey, you know what that means, right? Your Uber is closer. If your Uber is, if the Uber, <laughs> if the Uber is closer than your car that's in your driveway, that means it's here. That means your Uber is outside right now. You looking at the keys. Yeah, bro, can I read these lyrics in this chorus to you? You know why that's crazy. wild for him to say shit? Because I have one. This nigga legit has a rover, and then he said this said during the summer, so I know who you're talking about. That's just wild. Yeah, bro, look, it says, I don't got a heart, but fuck it, I'm paid. Lil A beat body, he fresh out the cage. I'm still that nigga from minimum wage. And he said, can't believe you tried it, bitch, you play. Wanted a diamond choker. Soon as her time was over, bitch, you play. She went to ride the rover, told her her Uber was closer, she bitch, you paid. But he, wait, wait, it, was, it was a legend you talking about Megan Thee Stallion. Huh? You talking oh. about Meg. Oh, was he talking about her now? He said she that's, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, she word? Said, he said I didn't know she that. stink. I don't believe him. John, all right, man. But... <laughs> John, that's <laughs> he said she stinks. <laughs> that's what he said. That's he what said, he saying. said. She tried to show out in public. I cut the bitch off like it's nothing. Bitch, you play. <laughs> she must have thought I was stupid. I knew she was fucking my cousin. Bitch, you play. Which hey. is like, if all this stuff happened to him, he lived a crazy well, life. You man. find out just a nigga just fucking your cousin. Yeah. Anyway, um, and and it's like he says this shit in such a catchy tone that like it made you want to rap to it, man. But anyway, besides the point, the toxic shit exists, right? And it's been a growing genre. Right. Like people are really fucking with the toxic shit, which is well, like pretty understandable. I think people just go through uh, a bunch of shit in their relationships, and they just need an outlet. And sometimes just rapping to some toxic shit is some way to do it. Sure. But um, yeah, I think uh, I don't listen too much of Saweetie, but I oh. imagine she's that for women a lot of the time. Low, what is um? They just had to say, what's that? Miami. Talk about that. Yeah, them niggas. Hold on, let me say, let me let me read out this here real quick. <laughs> Drake Drake said, "Hey, I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. I'm in a mansion out on the sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas. You know a different environment because you got desires. I know, I know, I know. He's basically just talking about how a girl has desires to do some other shit." But you don't make the right decisions. So I need to start making them for you. So I need to hide you that's out not, into the That's not what I understood from it. Is that what he meant by it? Yeah, that's what he meant. Wow. Yeah. Drake's writer went crazy on that one. On Valentine's and then, Day. And then um <laughs> on Valentine's Day. What'd he say? And then what then Future said, um, you acting you acting too vulnerable to live in this life. I should have moved you away from Houston before I, I copped you all that ice. You wanna be number one, but you ain't acting right. <laughs> these, these niggas be talking, bro. I play. I pl- I let you play my number two. You barely made the section. Just talking. <laughs> Tell someone she barely you made the section. It's crazy. Section. You barely got to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> like like she's trying made it out for the, the team. <laughs> just barely made it past that rope. <laughs> Bitch, be grateful. Yeah, yeah he's, but he's, that that really stuff crazy. exists. So it's like, I mean, That's I don't crazy. know. You see those memes with him reading his phone? Like, after that old album cover, he'd be like, hey, it's me again. I know everybody in Miami wilding, but I remember how we used to wild back in the day. Um, just checking on you, making sure everything is good. You know what I'm saying? Didn't mean to spring back into your life. Um, but uh, I know me and you took a break, so um, let your mom know I said, hey. Is that real? Yeah, it's like a meme with him reading. Look up future. Uh, future. That's uh, a real voice voice note? What? Is that a real voice? No, I just out the dome. Oh, okay. I just 
You know, it's off the dome. I just wanted to call and say, hey. <laughs> I to call and say, hey. <laughs> Didn't mean to spring up on you. Um, <laughs> why, okay, what's what's going on in Miami? Spring break. It's over with now. They got a curfew now. Mm-hmm. Eight o'clock curfew. Yeah, they can put a curfew. Not going to lie. I heard, yeah, but I heard straight you? from people in Miami is not over. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for them it's not over. But the real party over, when they start bringing them, them things out. Nigga, I saw they not pictures. bringing shit out. I, 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 they I just saw, say that shit so people outside Miami go like, oh, I'm finally them. doing something my, about my, that. They've they been saying shit about like that from Miami <laughs> since the beginning of the pandemic. Them niggas don't care down there, bro. Yeah, They're they don't. Going crazy. I'm, I seen some videos. I seen some videos. I saw a picture. First, I saw a picture of a whole car being tipped over on the on the side of a, yeah. Like hanging looking off at different of, videos. Uh, uh, looking at different shit. Yeah, he's probably no, no, no. I, I see those videos too. Yeah, I'm seeing that. But the flashing but titties. The fucking car. It was a car pushed off on a, um, a parking deck, and I was that, like, that don't excite me. You niggas is wilding over there, bro. Yeah, but think about it. Like you know, cooped in the house. Actually, the people that go to Miami are not. They've not been cooped in. <laughs> My bad. They have not cooped in. Like those are Those are not responsible niggas. Come on now, Miami. This their second time going to Miami this month. Come on, yeah. They haven't been cooped in whatsoever. That's crazy. But uh, they are. It's going, it is going crazy. I don't. But that's honestly, that's not. I don't think that's that far, f- far removed from what Miami normally looks like during spring break, though. Nah, no. Nah. Nah. When, when they first went down yeah. there last week, mm. nah, Miami wasn't ready for that. Nah, they I don't think I've ever seen something pool. like that. I'm not gonna. That lie. first week it was 150 arrests. I think they said. Mm. They were going stupid that first week. It felt like freaking it. Isn't it interesting, like the popularity of cities? Because Miami was like hot in the 90s. And then in the 2000s and for the most part of 2010s, like it's not, it hasn't been that hot. You know, LA has been though, but now LA's losing that. LA and, and Miami's kind of becoming that city like to go and have fun and do shit. I mean, right Vegas now. used to be that city like in, in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. It's interesting how like cities come and go as tourist destinations in this country. LA, LA losing because they just taxing niggas for no reason. And they close. So oh, yeah, really. And, and it's just undesired. LA's not closed. Some of the shit is closed. I've been to LA. But it's and, fairly and, open. In contrast to probably what Miami is going right now? No, no, no. Miami is flat out open. <laughs> Miami is going shit that was closed, crazy. But, but people were still outside in LA. Like, I, I was walking some around stories. UC, UCLA campus and it was, it was people. I seen some stories like a movie there. Yeah. It's like some stretch out of, like somewhere directed it. Steven Spielberg. I seen stories in Miami. <laughs> is that, do, do you, do you want to be in Miami, John? No cap. No, I'm here. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> Nigga is retarded. <laughs> now, do you do you want to be in Miami? Mm-mm. I, I want to be here in, in Atlanta. Yeah, you know he what wants saying? to be in Miami. Why would you ask him that question? Yeah, I want to be. I want to be in Atlanta. You, I, I don't think you want to be in Miami. No, nah, I don't want to be. Yeah, there. I don't want to be there. I grew up in Asia. I want to stay in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I'm and work on my purpose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to go to Miami wild out. That's not the type of man I am. John wants to go to Miami. I, no, I, I don't want to go to Miami. That's but... not the type of man I am. I, how many people we know that want to be in Miami right now? You think you could Everybody. see me in the street? Most people, most people. Oh, I know not everybody. Everybody. You can't picture me in the street getting twerked on by a baddie. Like that's not me. <laughs> I want to work on my shit, bro. I want to get right. <laughs> I want a plaque. Of course, <laughs> man. Then nigga jump wait. Then nigga jump wait for payday. You be like, yeah, I'm gonna be gone with the weekend. I'm gonna lie. Like, you know what I'm saying? When yeah, I, I know. I know the, people that left Miami and were like, Nah, I gotta go back, and they went back. No exaggeration. Dang. That's crazy. Like, see me on a yacht with like some rose there. So I'm like, what? Low. No, yeah, I that's mean. that is tough. I'm not gonna lie, but Dang, hey, uh, some of hey, uh, some of the some of the jump offs, y'all been having a, a pretty hectic month, man. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day, All Star Weekend, Spring Break, yeah, niggas really that's <laughs> that. Yeah, y'all <laughs> niggas, y'all niggas <laughs> running it out for the past two months. Yeah, no, that's man. Me. owning that's a th- club is gonna pay dividends as soon yes. as this vaccine gets out. Yeah, man. <laughs> y'all niggas been running it yeah. up. You gonna see next month? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next Bro, summer's gonna be fucking crazy. Yeah, summer's <laughs> gonna be a mood. I'm talking about summer, no man. If it's open, we're gonna be outside. Fuck being indoors. So we're gonna be outside. Is this, this is that this is summer? Summer, yeah, summer to wild. be outside. No, gonna it's, no, gonna no, be it's gonna be hot too. It's gonna be hot. We're gonna have to gonna take hot. a trip. I don't know why. Oh, man. oh I, I, I want to go. I don't care. Well, when you say trip, what do you mean? You don't want to go nowhere with this guy, bro. No, no, wait, no. Because when niggas say it's trip, those are two different things. So what, what do you mean? I'm Mexico. Okay, that's a trip. I'm down for Mexico. Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't leave the house. Though, yeah, bro. you like that, don't you? No, for I, I still want to go over. You go to Mexico? 
I've been to Mexico before. I'm asking, would you want to go? Yeah, I, I want to go. Yeah, we'll go. Or like, or like, but now I mean, I want to go. I want to go, go, I I wanna go over. But or if he, but if he said a trip, because some niggas will say, I want to take a trip, and they be like, where you want to go? Tennessee. Niggas will say Tennessee. I'm like, nigga, that's not a trip. That's, nigga. A, that's a light drive. Yeah, that's that. That's that. That's, that, that's <laughs> why I had to pause hours. and ask you, like, nigga, yeah. what do you mean by what trip, nigga? Chat. Chat Calhoun, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Nigga, you retarded. Right, take a little road trip. Or they in Savannah, like, nigga, that's not a trip. Take a little trip to the Okefenokee Swamp. That's my favorite swamp in Georgia. Come on now, nigga. I'm like that's not that's not a trip. That's not to ask you because some yeah. niggas will legit say I want to go somewhere that's like a two or three hour drive. I'm like, a little trip not, to Fayetteville. That's not really a, t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a trip. Yeah, that's not that far. That's not. A, yeah, that's not. That's not. A, that's not. A, that's not a, that's not a uh, trip. Trip. Yeah, trip, trip like, when it, so when I if I want to go on a trip, I want to go on a trip. Yeah, yeah but I, like I want to go to Vegas. Like Alaska, go to Vegas. Antarctica. Vegas is not going to be act- well. Vegas is going to be cool, but it's not going to be as active as. I don't want it to be that active. To be honest with you, I just want to. Chill, gamble a little bit. No, you want Vegas to be active, bro. Trust me. Huh? Yeah, but we gotta take a trip, man. This summer thing, my Miami time is ten. Yo, everybody out of school. The vaccine in the clear. We're, we're free. Man, no man, it's gonna go crazy, bro. Oh man, how well, actually? How how is it? Um, downtown. Um. In Georgia State area, not it's break. not active right now. But I think it's never really active downtown Georgia. No, it do be. You yeah, have to go yo, to like, but everybody's not on. Bro, everybody's not on campus either. John, you don't know what I'm talking about. When yeah, you right. Everybody not on campus. Campus, oh, campus. campuses. I don't care if it's summer in schools that large are flooded. When I went to UCLA, COVID was going on. And I, I mean, because everybody got to be there. Bumping elbows, whatever. It was populated. But everybody, you gotta, wouldn't think there was nothing going on there. But you got to think about it. Some Georgia State students don't stay on campus. They just live around it because they live but, in Georgia. You mostly. argue the same thing about UCLA. UCLA was not like a campus. It's just within the city. It's around Hollywood. Georgia Tech, Tech is, Georgia Tech is, I don't know. I've never been to US, UCLA, but Georgia Tech is actually more popu- populated oh, on really? the streets than... Because but they have their own section of yeah, Atlanta. Like they own yeah, but anyway, literally their own campus. Uh, Atlanta just are walking around. There's not as much going on as like... A, a New York, oh, yeah, LA, sure. Toronto, sure, no. but I think yeah. like in the areas that people do frequent, uh, where we do our interviews and shit, I think those places is gonna be fucking packed. And I'm not everything's gonna, gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think those areas. Will they drop us? A, 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 will they drop a summer blowout stimmy? No, they're not dropping no more stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all nigga, they niggas drop. went crazy they for fourteen hundred. Y'all <laughs> niggas is dumb. They, nigga. they drop a bomb on they a money bad joke. Say summertime we lit. <laughs> I mean, everybody flying and spending money. Nigga, they not they not they not throwing no more money bro, at y'all niggas. Bro. They open. They say they say we giving everybody we giving every every American three bands. And not we're about no to money, open the yo. world up ne- this Monday. You'll get your your band. Well, we open up Friday. You get your bands Wednesday. Niggas gonna be active. They not throwing. They not throwing out no more money, bro. People can be active regardless, bro. John, yeah. if they don't have the money, they'll figure out a way because they wanna. Yeah. Because they did the same thing for All Star Weekend. <laughs> Shardy came down to a- 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 ATL with no money. Yep. As you saw that clip where they, the um the the jump offs were in a U haul because they couldn't afford a party bus. Yo, yo. A dart you all bumping around, <laughs> nigga. They had a they had a U haul. <laughs> they had a U haul. <laughs> yeah, you retarded. I met they, they had they had a Utah they had, they had a U-Haul right and off off near um with a beast pill <laughs> in the back in the back with a beat but the old one though bro the old one the oh, very yeah, large cylindrical a beach pill one. nigga you retarded and a, and a strobe light <laughs> off a mini power block well you know there's no that? windows in a U-Haul they none Bitch there's none sitting there strapped with rope what's that what's that um what's that what's that street in Atlanta with all the um um bars. Uh, Buckhead Bar? No, not Buckhead, but in in downtown Atlanta. Uh, Edgewood. Yeah, Edgewood. That's yeah. where it was at. The gas station off of Edgewood. There was this chick that hopped out of the back of a U-Haul and just hopped out and <laughs> start walking out. Have a party bus with no windows or light. Like that's, just nigga, that's but it's tw- it's twenty bucks, nigga. Twenty bucks for a U-Haul. I'm not gonna lie to you. How long for like out, per, per hour or how you, how do U-Haul? No, not no per hour. No, be a per day. Twenty dollars for a day. So, so we're gonna rent a U-Haul. We're gonna rent a U-Haul. We're gonna drive it down to Atlanta. We're gonna stay in it. We're gonna be in there <laughs> until we find a rich nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, yeah. You it all star at the peak of All Star Weekend, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, you probably learn a lot about themselves. Are you telling tell the story? Yeah, you, right you have you had to have whack pussy so if you, you couldn't get you no. Tell your kids how y'all met. Yes, and I so I put up in that that Mercedes motherfucker the gas station. And then your mama hopped out this U-Haul. I was like, damn, she too bad to be jumping out the back of U-Haul. So I scooped her up. Took it to the spot. Let us see uh, Carl Anthony Towns and uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> Took it back to the spot, and that's how I met her. 
Yeah, your daddy caught me right when I jumped up there, you haul because my skirt got caught on the <laughs> <making it up>. <laughs> <laughs> And it ripped. Nigga, you renting a U-Haul because you got to get to Atlanta. It's the wildest shit in the world, bro. Um, you don't want me asking, what you ladies need this for? We're going to All-Star Weekend. <laughs> That's wild, nigga. Uh, yeah. This seat's 25, right? I can throw 25 bodies in Jessica, the back, right? You said it's the big U-Haul. This is the big U-Haul. Nigga. Can you imagine if you got an 18-wheeler, bro? That'd be... Mm. You hauls, by the way, is the cheapest way to rent a car. Eighteen wheeler, yeah, it is. You hauls the cheapest way to. Yes. Oh, it depends on what size car. Easily the cheapest. You hauls don't do the twenty five or under uh, young fee. Okay. And on top of that, you get a lot of space, and it's the same shit. <laughs> a lot of space. <laughs> 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 you know, you get a lot of space. I'm telling you, U hauls is the cheapest way to rent vehicles. If you guys are renting a car and you don't give a fuck, don't rent economy at Avis, bro. Just rent a U haul. And U hauls don't really care where you drop them off. You can drop them off at any U haul, bro. <laughs> that's that's yeah, by far the most. Them bitches off, so <laughs> yeah, like, you can drop it. You can I could have bought that motherfucker in Atlanta and drop it off at Albuquerque. You they can do drop not it care, off man. at the Target lot, Burger King. <laughs> they don't care. Yo, uh, um, who is it? Who's Applebee's. the guy? That, <laughs> actually, yeah, you're right. There's like gas stations that you can just drop, drop them off, off at. Like, Apple, yeah. Applebee's. Who's that? Who's that Louis C.K. Louis C.K. had a hilarious bit about it. It's one of my favorite jokes about. Uh, rental cars And back then They had policies Where like They didn't really care Where you left the car They had to come get it Now they charge you for it But back then He's like yeah So I just He's like He made a joke about him Just jumping out of A moving vehicle <laughs> He's oh like They're gonna have to Come get it so, Oh my god uh, But anyway Yeah that's a hilarious joke Shout out Louis CK Um uh, But Man yeah. I don't know. Yeah, of, y'all niggas, y'all niggas go crazy for next couple, um, next couple of months, bro. Cause I, I don't know if Atlanta gonna get that crazy, but what the world open up is gonna what? be crazy. What Man, people realize it's gonna be top five, five cities it. that get you got that get lit. out right now. But think about the people that are just scared to come out. When they not scared no more, all don't come out the house. They are gonna want to get fun. They've been in the house. Are we all getting a vaccine? I am hundred percent. You getting a vaccine? What? I talked to too many people that. Are convinced that vaccines are bad now, and and then when I ask them like, "What's your like scientific reasoning?" They go like, "I don't know." I'm like, do you watch like the video on Bill Gates on YouTube? <laughs> and I'm just like, "Damn, that's tough, man." Oh yeah, that's like tough. most most Americans already have a flu vaccine, so I don't know what the fuck. flu, polio, <laughs> yeah, smallpox, and you have none of those things. I don't know what the fuck is. So you get it, John? You get it, love? Sound like a no from John? John, it is a vaccine. I just want to wait. For what? For who? Huh? Which so way? All y'all taking it and see how y'all come out. John, there's like 18 Niggas, different a, vaccines around the world. Not only that, plenty of people have taken it. There's plenty of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to let them take so it. So what you waiting? I'm just going to wait. They've been taking it. Yeah, so once they've been good, I'll take it. <laughs> John, they are, though. I took two tests. I'm <laughs> negative both of them. I get that, but I'm just saying. I'm gonna keep doing, you only doing took my two? vitamins. My vitamins and, you know what I'm saying? My vitamins. You saw that shit Jason Whitlock said? That nigga said the best way to beat... Um, uh, coronavirus is um, staying healthy and losing weight. And everybody was like, Maybe you stay healthy. Is you that that a fat black guy? Yes, yeah, a fat black guy. I was like, <laughs> Oh, <"Nigga." laughs> yeah, you, you, if you stay healthy, <laughs> you'll get your immune system. Your immune system will get stronger, especially if you're outside. Your body, if your body is at its healthiest point, you'll be able to fight it off. Yo, we have a weak immune that system. That is true. You putting your saying? weak immune, putting your immune system through shit is actually the best way to strengthen. Yeah, that's how you strengthen it. Okay, I know, but that's why we're asking you to take the vaccine and why? you have an answer. I'm trying to be stronger than you, nigga. <laughs> that vaccine's gonna make you weak. <laughs> and me vaccine free gonna be stronger than you. My cells gonna be yeah, unmanipulated. It's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna it might make me weak, weaker for like a week or two, and that's it. No, that's a bad like week. A day or two, bro. What if you run into no, some a, people no, see? some people have had these had symptoms for the long. What if you run into a nigga like me? No, I'm telling you. Like, what if it's <laughs> you take the <laughs> said those people are weak? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Like, like nigga, you back. still got symptoms, you weak ass nigga. <laughs> That's a wild thing to say. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yo, telling that nigga you weak because you still got symptoms after Bro, a get shot. Get over it, man. That's get wild. over your symptoms, dog. Man, you still coughing? <laughs> Fuck, nigga. God damn, nigga. Cover your mouth and tighten up, nigga. Tight, tighten up, man. Tighten up, dog. Oh, you imagine fuck. you imagine your cancer came back and your doctor was like, damn, your body's weak, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. They need to have oh, a parody on kid peel like that. I swear. Yeah, your blood cells is weak, nigga. <laughs> Do you have white blood cells still? Let me check yep. on it, man. Yo, that fucking skit where Dave Chappelle's playing the um make a wish kid. He's playing on street with him. And nigga was dying. 
<laughs> Bro, I don't remember that. <laughs> <Red Eye. laughs> nah, what the Mick, fuck? There's a, there's a sketch where this nigga's playing. He's um the Make a Wish kid's last um, wish was to um, play, like, chill out with Dave Chappelle for a, a, um like afternoon. <laughs> and he decided to play street basketball. That's crazy. And then he playing, and the kids start talking crap. And Dave was like, Okay, all right, nigga. And so then he just start going hard on this Mega Wish kid. And then the Mega Wish kid start having like head. He's like, man, I don't know what's going on with me, Dave. <laughs> and he was like, whoa, 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 pick them sticks up, little nigga. Keep playing. I was like, what the fuck? And in the middle of it, he was like, he was in the middle of it, Dave was. He was like, hey man, just I just want to make sure you understand. Like, you got to keep fighting. You got to keep going strong, man. All right, keep playing real quick so I can beat your ass real quick. And then, and then in the middle of him playing, this nigga, had, this nigga died, bro. <laughs> the kid died. And then Dave started yelling out for the nurse. And the nurse didn't come. So he picked a little thing. And he said, clear. And then shocked him, make it back to life. And, and he's like, back yeah. sticks. <laughs> and the nigga back to sticks and kept beating See, his I ass. Brought you back, my boy. And Thank he said, me later. And, and actually, he said, "Don't you die on me." And then cleared him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he hit the niggas to sticks again to keep playing with us. Like oh, this thing is wild. What? That's a what? fucking. You got y'all. If you think about you a nurse and a kid go before I leave, I want to see Dave Chappelle. <laughs> And that's the afternoon you spend with that nigga, bro. Like, what do you say to that? Like, they go before I leave. I want to see Legend of Winning. Can he I, come? Actually, what if that happened to you? Would you do that? Yeah. You the kids. I'd last be disappointed wish? in them. I'd be like, damn, bro. You could have said anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck you choose me, man? You could have said you could have said Dave Chappelle. <laughs> but you inspire me. Yeah, Trey, 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 I'm happy Trey Rags exists for these these, these kids because they need people like that. I think that's, everybody's so sensitive and soft. Yeah, man. I think that's very healthy to have like because that that's very, life. You know what I'm saying? You remember you took a Jonah at school and you couldn't help it until you just got, got better Joning and they stopped Joning you. But if you was Jonable and everybody get toasted, it comes to the person. <laughs> it comes to the person that don't got no comeback. Like they get roasted, they just switch it on. Like say lo, low roasted me, I can't beat low. I try to avoid low when it comes to joining contest. So I know I could roast you. I got a lot of roast for you, so when I'm getting done, I'm gonna roast you to take away from the pay of me doing. Not, not only that, you. if Agent Deer laughed at you, he was like, "Whoa, oh, yeah, what you yeah, laughing yeah. at?" Oh yeah, like <laughs> like a low said joke, and you crack a smile. And now I'm on He's you. Like, now I'm whoa, like, whoa, what you laughing at? Now nigga? I'm what you laughing at? It's something funny. It's something funny. And then mm. you start roasting you. And then everybody get on this thing because everybody knows he's an easy target. Yeah, like, so not yeah. all the new roasters come out. The OG roasters that just want to get a good laugh. Yeah, Especially if there's bad girls around, man. I hate guys like that. That roast. I hate guys, I hate guys like that. They get real aggressive. The second, like a female yeah. is involved. I saw that Drewski skit too. Yeah, I saw that, that shit was funny. Put them in a headlock. Just but like. those those niggas are really aggressive. I hate. Them I'm niggas. talking about niggas who just like get loud or they yeah. just act completely different. Shit. <laughs> Should I <laughs> beat no. that nigga ass the other day? Nigga try me. Remember low? Where I beat that nigga? I used yeah. to go. To, I used to go to um, college with a dude who would do shit like that. Where he would be like. Bro, them New Jordans came. I had to cop them. I was like, nigga, had to. Why does everybody had to twin? Why does cash, everybody? nigga? <laughs> cash. Nah, I bought them on I Thursday, so niggas didn't know it was on my paycheck. I was like, I was like, why does, why does everybody got to know you got the you cop the Jordans? I will turn around, he's like two girls looking behind us. I'm like, all right, this nigga just yeah. You probably didn't notice, but I have Versace drawers on. They're hella comfortable. If you was asking, I remember you asked what kind of drawers I wear. Versace. Oh, what are, what are those? Um, what, are, what what are those draw? What are those draws called? The Ethicas or Ethicas? Why? I don't wear them cheap shit. Yeah, what are, what are those? I don't what wear them cheap shits. I wear Versace, low. You know me. Nah, nah, John. You 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 are. This, this is the last quote before we wrap it up. You are you are you are uh, clothing culture guy. What, yeah. are, what are Ethicas? What is that? They are, they're similar to like PSDs. Those. With what the, is that? This, they're just, mm. they're, they're, they're just I see Duke wearing them because yeah. for some reason he wants to show every, the world every time he walks around. Well, he's yeah, so yeah, yeah like niggas they, they not only wear ethicas, but then they they, they fucking, wear them to show them. Yeah, they show them that they wear ethicas. It's like a belt. It takes up for the belt because you pull yeah, your pants. It low. is like a belt. Yeah, yeah. it's your belt. <laughs> so your how much do they call? Like they call belt. something crazy? Nah, you get a pack for like maybe forty or fifty bucks. So why are niggas going crazy? I mean, it's just like I guess it's just it's not. They have limited releases. They have limited releases, but it's like but it's the individual. But what's PSDs? What individual. is individual? They're like thirty twenty dollars or thirty dollars individually per like, not a pack. I mean, that's like not ninja shit, is it? Huh? That's not ninja shit. Everybody got to deal with them. No, 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 no. I mean, owning. I don't <laughs> know. But what is what is PSDs? What is that? Let me check. Uh, it's it's a, like an underwear brand. 
It's uh. like boxer briefs. Hey, they kind of like spandex material, though. Like, kind of like a Nike Pro. I'm pretty sure Ninja owns. Yeah, it does. This is the company that Ninja, Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, and Chandler Parsons own. Oh, dang. Ethicus? Yeah. No, PSD. Oh, PSD? PSD? Yeah. yeah, I was like, that's Ninja shit. I remember crazy. him promoting it. OD. All okay. I know is, oh my um, god, that means he's probably making more money off underwear than he is streaming right now. Crazy, Man, every hood nigga got those. PSDs, really? yeah, niggas be rocking those. Those are ethical. They be wearing them and just, you know what I'm saying? It's your belt. I don't, I don't know, y'all. Yeah, some, I don't know. Maybe I don't get that shit. I like Calvin Klein. Well, I, saying, I just I wear like Calvin Klein. Klein. I like Ralph, yeah. Ralph, Ralph, or Haynes. Actually, Ralph Lauren Yo, does have bro. some really nice. Time. I'm going like to the PSD times. Instagram. They fire right there. Who is it? Oh, I don't know. Just some model on the PSD. It's hard though. It is like I don't really know what I want to wear because it's like it's a, they got Magnum ones too. They got they did like a sponsor with everybody. Yeah, give me a sponsorship. You know, so I know people care about my fashion decisions. But you got to show them though. You got to start sagging. Yeah, you got to show them. I'm gonna yeah. start sagging. I've yeah. actually never seen PSDs. I've seen um, Ethicas. Yeah, you think it'd be a good video if I got a stylist to dress me up? No. Uh, I forgot your negative, John. What you think? Gonna be a bad video. See you with some drip, some Raph, some, <laughs> some Rick Owens, some Amiri jeans, a Gucci sweater. John's trying to charge me ten k. I've never seen. I've never seen. You gotta wear Gucci I, socks. I went on Amiri's uh, website one time, and jeans was going for minimum a thousand, bro. Yeah, shit is crazy. A thousand. Yeah, and then and then I was like, ugh. Now I, now I learned the brawny wears them, and I was like, never mind. All right, I can never buy a two thousand dollar jean that Ronnie two K wears. Oh, PSDs these are these things with like the, like the this shit. Yeah. Oh. Because the ninja was promoting them OD when they launched. So when I saw people wearing them, I'm like, is that ninja shit that people are wearing? <laughs> people are wearing ninja's underwear brand? <laughs> That's wild. He was promoting them in his prime too. Damn. Yeah. Anyway, right. thanks for listening, ladies and gentlemen, to the podcast, man. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube at Peer to Peer. If y'all want to see the video, it's available on there, man. Turn on notifications. Make sure to go. No, the gang, 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 gang. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks for showing love. Word of mouth, people. Y'all the greatest. Apple Podcast. Drop a five star with a comment saying Air Force Ones. Just so we know y'all came from this podcast, man. Uh, aside from that, any last words? I'm good, bro. I'm good, my boy. And I'm good too, man. Uh, we got to record some playback shit because Marcellius here decides to take extra long. So we're running behind schedule. So I'm going to fuck with y'all, man. Thanks for showing love on the podcast. As always, we had an assortment of random com- topics this podcast, but I kind of like these are my favorite ones. Talks about aliens, language, and then underwear. You know what I'm saying? Anything is possible. Just keep chasing your dreams. <laughs>